yes hello pasangala welcome and welcome a very 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 good morning is my voice audible for all of you ellarku your voice clear ah kekuda vanakkam okay inniki nama session la paaka poradhu ecology one shot all the three chapters at one shot paaka porom okay sorry there was a technical issue adanal konja delay aayiruchi okay inniki session romba romba mukkiyamaana session adhe mari kashtana la kandipa solla maten okay neenga paathirpinga principles of inheritance and variation la solirpen idala nariya purinji padikkonnu okay adhe mari molecular basis of inheritance yu solirpen indha chapter la rendu full ah magap da pasangala you just have to buy hat and go and write it in your exam that's it that's it pasangla okay yes i have also i have already thought for class 11 class 11 ku nariya nariya chapters potirken please go check it out okay la recordings la irukum live la illa videos la poi paathina ungal kandipa kedaikum hello everyone a very 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 good morning okay uh, yes we shall start the session let's not waste even a single minute okay so inniki session la organism and pop population ecosystem biodiversity and conservation mudikka porom oru oru chapter ku 40 minutes is my target okay so 40 nimishathukulla mudikka try pannalam okay concentrate on the topic ingiye indha indha topic ah padichukonga ncert book ah kaiyila veinga i hope i hope my voice is clear okay na konja mic la konja changes pannirken enoda voice clear ah irukku nambra inno konja na loud ah pesa try pandra a very 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 good morning hi hi everyone so in next session ரொம்ப ரொம்ப ஜாலியா இருக்க போது ஓகே we are going to discuss something which is around us okay and இது வந்து நீங்க பை ஹார்ட் பண்ணனும்ன்ற அவசியமே கிடையாது புரிஞ்சி படிச்சுโกங்க ஓகே பை ஹார்ட்னா நாபு வச்சி எழுதலாம் ஓகே பட் புரிஞ்சி பை ஹார்ட் பண்ணுங்க that's the only thing i want to tell you so let's get into the session session timing i told you no 40 minutes for each chapter so it may go up to 1 hour 20 minutes or 1 hour 30 minutes that's my target okay yes hi hi everyone good morning so adukku munadi iv sat exam பத்தி பேசலாம் இன்ஸ்டன்ட் வேதாந்து ஸ்காலர்ஷிப் அட்மிஷன் டெஸ்ட் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் இன் ஆல் தி ஆஃப்லைன் சென்டர்ஸ் நியர் யூ யூ கேன் கெட் அப் டு 70% ஸ்காலர்ஷிப் ஓகே ஃபார் 8th டு 12th ஃபவுண்டேஷன் नीट அண்ட் JEE ப்ளீஸ் டு கோ அட்டெண்ட் யுவர் ஐவி சாட் எக்ஸாம் okay so we also have a vedantus improvement promise vip okay 100% fee refund if you are not improving your marks okay this is something we believe in we believe in improvement and that's why we have this promise okay yes we will we will continue these are the these are the topics which we are going to discuss population population attributes age pyramid growth curve and population interaction idellam da iniki nama discuss panna porom a very good morning a very good morning okay so in the or topic la rendu romba romba mukkiyamaana vishayam enna na okay a growth curve age pyramid population interaction idhil rendu absolutely questions kete kekalam ma'am in the chapter oda weightage enna ma'am ma overall in the moonu chapter ku me seithu 10 mark pasangala okay so oru chapter ku moonu illa naalu mark apdi rendu avanga vandu divide pannalam 3 to 4 marks they can divide okay so session i am fine i am fine neenga ella epdi irkinga how are you all p p exam epdi irundhuchu physical education exam epdi pochi right you are all gearing up for the last exam correct hi sandhya how are you okay good morning good morning okay so or one and a half hour ku la mudikalam so we will get into the session so edash doubt irundha dayavu senju kelunga na kandipa related to the topic edash doubt irundha please do let me know what do you mean by population pasangala population na enna my i hope my voice is clear okay i am fine i am fine how what do you mean by population population is a group of individuals okay there are a group of individuals of same species that live in a given geographical area or share or compete for similar resources and potentially reproduce okay ipo or area la okay inda unga unga chennai la edho or area nu vechukonga okay chennai la or area la ethana manushanga vaalranga okay that is what is called as population ஓகே ஒரு ஒரு பர்டிகுலர் ஊர்ல எத்தனை கோகோனட் ட்ரீ இருக்கு அது ஒரு பாப்புலேஷன் ஓகே ஒரு ஊர்ல எத்தனை மாங்கா மரம் இருக்கு அது ஒரு பாப்புலேஷன் தட் இஸ் வாட் தட் இஸ் வாட் யூ ஆர் கால் தட் இஸ் வாட் இட் இஸ் கால் பாப்புலேஷன் எஸ் எஸ் ஐம் ஆண்டிங் ஃபார் லெவன்த் ஆல்சோ நீங்க போய் செக் பண்ணலாம் நிறைய வீடியோஸ் போஸ்ட் பண்ணிருக்கேன் பிளான்ட் பிசியாலஜி ஹியூமன் பிசியாலஜி எல்லாமே போஸ்ட் பண்ணிருக்கேன் ஓகே ஸோ ஆல் தி காமரன்ஸ் இன் அ வெட் லேண்ட் ரேட்ஸ் இன் அன் அபேண்டட் வெண்ணி teakwood tree in a forest bacteria in a culture plate lotus in a pond they are all population 
okay we have a subject called population ecology apdina enna pa it is the important area of ecology it links your population genetics and evolution population genetics and evolution okay that's very 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 important okay adutha vishayam paakalam what are the population attributes idu romba mukkiyam this is very 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 important okay population attribute na enna pathangala or population ke uriya characters la nama population attributes nu solrom okay idu romba important ana vishayam what is the first thing birth rate birth rate na enna it is the per capita birth death ல per capita birth okay so idu kandipa kepanga unga exam la how to calculate the birth rate okay ellarume inga konja concentrate panni paarenga okay in a pond there are 20 lotus plants last year pona varsham or pond la 20 lotus irundhuchu okay through reproduction eight new plants were added okay what is the population and its birth rate okay so what is the current po- current uh, population 20 plus 8 is 28 okay so 28 is the pop- current population so it is 8 8 lotus pudusa irukke 8 by 20 that will give you a pop- birth rate so yolo varudhu 8 by 20 it is 0.4 romba mukkiyamaana vishayam romba mukkiyamaana vishayam ellarku idu purinjadha how to calculate the birth rate okay it is the number of births divided by initial population okay inga initial population evlo irundhuchi 20 irundhuchi adanalu okay then death rate what is death rate it refers to per capita death okay idu rendume romba romba mukkiyamaana vishayam pasangala four individuals in a laboratory population of 40 fruit flies died during a week so what is it it's very simple 4 by 40 so what is the death rate 0.1 இது உங்க டெக்ஸ்ட் புக்ல கொடுத்திருக்க இன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் சோ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஐ மை கிளியர் எல்லாருக்கும் நான் கிளியரா இருக்கேனா இது புரிஞ்சதா ஹவு டு கேல்குலேட் பர்த் ரேட் அண்ட் டெத் ரேட் பிளீஸ் டூ கிவ் மீ அ தம்ஸ் அப் இஃப் திஸ் இஸ் கிளியர் இது புரிஞ்சதுனா எனக்கு ஒரு தம்ஸ் அப் கொடுங்க ஓகே தென் லெட்ஸ் டாக் அபவுட் பாப்புலேஷன் டென்சிட்டி ஓகே இட்ஸ் யூஸ்வலி டினோட்டட் பை த லெட்டர் என் okay it is the number of individuals of species per unit area or volume unga ellarkume theriyum density na enna enna okay it is per unit area or volume okay adutha nama paaka poradhu age pyramid what is age pyramid pasangala idha patti da nama adutha paaka porom age pyramid is a graphical representation of abundance of individual of different age group so oru oru age group liyum ethana individual irukanga endradha graphically paaka koodiyad da avangala age pyramid romba mukkiyam okay so here you have three kinds of age pre reproductive reproductive and post reproductive pre reproductive na young people okay Pro, uh, uh, reproductive na middle age people post reproductive na old people okay apdi na vachikla old population yes adutha sex ratio what is sex ratio it is a number of males to number of females or number of females to number of males okay or population la ethana male ethana female irukanga la adha vandu kurikiradha avangala sex ratio so So, these are the attributes of birth rate, death rate, sex ratio, age pyramid, population density. This is the most important thing about age pyramid, birth rate, death rate. Okay, if you have the number of these numbers, you can calculate the number of these numbers. Okay, yes. Coming to the most important thing, age pyramid. Okay, now already said that age pyramid is a graphical representation of abundance of individual of different age group. Here we consider pre-reproductive, reproductive and post-reproductive. So, all of you can see the NCRT book. Okay, yes, very very important. So, you have an expanding population, stable population and declining population. So, what is actually happening here? Okay, you see a expanding population. So, expanding population is how it is a pyramid. It is a triangular age pyramid. Triangle shape. You can see it in a triangle shape. It represents young or rapidly growing population. So, rapid or growing population, pre-reproductive population is very high there. எல்லாரும் கிளியரா நான் வச்சுக்கோங்க அடுத்தது பெல் ஷேப் யூ கேன் சி திஸ் இஸ் ஸ்டேபிள் ஓகே திஸ் சம்திங் லுக்ஸ் லைக் அ பெல் இட் லுக்ஸ் லைக் அ பெல் ஓகே ஸோ பெல் ஷேப் ரெப்ரஸன்ட் ஸ்டேபிள் ஆர் ஸ்டேஷனரி பாப்புலேஷன் வேர் திஸ் ப்ரீ ரீப்ரொடக்டிவ் அண்ட் ரீப்ரொடக்டிவ் ஆர் ஈக்குவல் அப்படின்னா என்ன அந்த பாப்புலேஷன் ஸ்டேபிளா இருக்கு ஓகே அது அதிகமும் ஆகாது அது கம்மியும் ஆகாது இட் வில் கீ பி ஸ்டேபிள் 
the next important most important thing is declining okay declining la enna agudhu the pre reproduct vandu romba koraiva irukke young people oda population vandu romba koraiva irukke okay ana reproductive population vandu konjam adhigama irukke so what does this mean it's a un shaped okay it's u r n un shaped okay so this represents a diminishing population okay sila varadangal kalichi this population will decline that is what this means ஓகே இது எல்லாருக்கும் புரிஞ்சா கிவ் மீ அ தம்ஸ் அப் இந்த சாட் செக்ஷன் ஷியோர் ஷார்ட் கொஸ்டின் த்ரீ மார்க்ஸ் கேட்கலாம் இஃப் யூ ஆர் வெரி லக்கி தே கேன் கிவ் இட் கிவ் இட் டு யூ ஆஸ் அ கேஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஸ்டடி ஃபார் ஃபோர் மார்க்ஸ் ஓகே ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியம் எஸ் எஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு ட்ரா திஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு லேர்ன் டு ட்ரா திஸ் ஓகே ரொம்ப சிம்பிள் ரொம்ப சிம்பிள் ட்ரா பண்ணி கேட்கலாம் இல்லை அந்த டயக்ராம் கொடுத்துட்டு வாட் டூ தே ரெப்ரஸன்ட்னு கேட்கலாம் ஹாய் ஹாய் ஹரி எப்படி போச்சு எக்ஸாம் பி okay yes i hope this is clear for everyone romba mukkiyana concept okay adutha inga nama paaka poradhu population growth or population ore mari irukuma pasangala kandipa kedaiyadhu adu onnu grow aagum illa onnu diminish aagum right so the population size changes depending on factors like food availability predation pressure and weather right so population or population vandu ella favorable ana character ku favorable ana or resources ella kedacha that population will happily grow okay happily grow but if it does not get it will not grow simple simple logic correct ah so there is a change in the population density inga paare human population eppadi eppadi grow agudhu it's just multiplying like anything especially in india right i think now india stands the first in the world population correct ah oh super super happy morning happy morning okay adutha nam paaka poradhu population density ipo neenga nimmadiya biology ku prepare pannalam hari okay so population density population density edha base panni irukku pasangala it depends on natality romba romba mukkiyana vishayam what is natality it is the birth rate okay it is the number of births in the population during a given period so or population la ethana pudusa kolandhainga parandirukanga or period la it can be a year it can be a month it can be a week it can be anything pasangala hi hi okay what is mortality mortality na it is the number of deaths in a given population during a given period mortality na death natality na birth ellaru chat section la podunga inge in the chapter padichu mudichirunga okay emigration emigration na enna pa it is the number of individuals of the population who left the habitat ipo paarenga inga irundhu nariya per dubai okay america anga la poi vera paakranga there are emigrants they are all going out of india so obviously the population population here will decrease okay adutad immigration it is the number of individuals of the same species that have come into the habitat from elsewhere say for example india india ku nariya pe sri lanka la irundhu varanga bangladesh la irundhu varanga nepal la irundhu varanga so avanga la yaar immigrants they are coming into a population that is what we call it as immigrants okay so in the immigration and natality they add to the population correct ah they add to the population whereas whereas emigration and mortality they basically decrease the population yes kandipa kandipa that's the plan that's the plan okay so evlo seekram idimo ella ella important chapters mudichittu last two days sample papers mcqs week quiz adha da panna porom okay so in the chapter la numericals in the very simple numericals varla birth rate death rate and the many numericals vara chances irukku mcq ku okay is this population growth clear inga clear ah kuduthirukanga paarenga pasangala and this is so very important okay population density at time t plus 1 is given by initial population density plus birth plus immigration minus death plus emigration so this is something which you guys should concentrate okay emigration adds natality adds in mortality and emigration actually basically reduces the population okay ellarku purinjada ellarku purinjada population growth na enna enna if it is clear we will continue with the two types of population growth romba mukkiyana vishayam yes so there are two different models the first one is exponential growth okay exponential growth yara solringa what are the characters of what are the characters of exponential growth yes what are the characters of exponential growth session mudichittu evening uh, evening schedule pannalam okay 
Yes. So what is the character pasangla? Exponential la. And the population grow a tear ko. Balan the tear ko. Okay, and the population on the stopping a kadayal. That is exponential. Okay, so when will the population be exponential? When they have resources. Okay, for the unimpeded population growth. Resources are unlimited. Resources are unlimited. Okay, yes. If resources are unlimited, each species shows its full time potential to grow in number. Okay, then the population grows in an exponential or geometric fashion. Inga paranga, D re, okay, or, or stage where it grew, okay, then it decreased. Okay, why it decreased? Because of competition between themselves, okay, because of predation, okay, because of human uh, intervention. Idanala and the population on the decrease agalam. So, practically speaking, exponential growth is not at all possible. Okay, exponential growth is not at all possible. That is hypothetical, theoretical. Okay, yes. Let's try to understand the most important graph you can see here. This is the graph, the red line which you see here, right? So, this is the graph for exponential growth. Okay, so what is this type of graph? It is a J-shaped graph. What is the shape of the graph of an exponential growth? It is J-shaped. Okay, yes. Biotechnology, I check on the video, I check on the schedule, I don't remember. Okay, but biotechnology, I'm doing reproduction, I'm doing all important chapters, I'm surely doing. Okay, yes. So, birth rate is given by B. Death rate is given by D. Okay, an increase or decrease in N during a unit period of time that is dn by dt is equal to b minus d into n. Let, let, let us keep that b minus d is equal to r. Okay, so we will get that dn by dt is equal to rn. In the rn and solro, no, we are not growing exponentially. Yeah, but yes, there is, there will be a stop. Don't worry, there will be a stop at one stage. Okay. That's what we are getting now. If all resources are coming out, then there is no water. Okay, there is no water. There is a lot of problem happening. We are almost reaching that stage where we will, where we will decline. Okay, yes. Can you speed up, Olam? Sure, sure. Okay. So D N by D T is equal to R N. What is R? It is rate of intrinsic intrinsic rate of increase. Okay, intrinsic intrinsic rate of increase in the indoor equation rumba mukyam rumba rumba mukyam okay rate of increase and are the chart la podugan all of you put it in the chat section yes so if we just integrate it okay dn by dt is equal to rn this if we integrate it we will get this Okay, both the integral equation and this equation is equally, equally important. Okay, nt is equal to n0 into e to the power rt. Okay, they have asked this. What is e? e is the base of the natural logarithm. The value is 2.71828. Rombo rombo mukyam. Ella arme in the or equation you chart section la podunga. nt is equal to n0 into e to the power rt. Okay, idi eppadi patta equation? Idu me exponential growth kaana equation da. But it is an integral form. Okay, I hope this is clear. Yes. Okay, Ipa nama paaka the logistic growth. Logistic growth is very practical growth. There is no population in nature having unlimited resources for exponential growth. Okay, this leads to competition among individuals and as a result the population basically declines. Okay, so eventually the fittest individuals survive and reproduce. Okay, in nature a given habitat has enough resources to support a maximum force. Ipo room irukku pasangla. Or pathukku pathu room irukku. 10 by 10 feet. So, on the room of maximum, how many pairs are there? 4 pairs, 5 pairs, 6 pairs. That's all. Right? That is the carrying capacity. The maximum number of people who can live in a place is what we call it as carrying capacity. Okay? So, it is denoted by the letter K. So, the carrying capacity is all clear. Tomorrow, biotechnology. Okay. Okay, fine. If it is, if I have told tomorrow, I will do biotechnology. Now, daily and the PPT path is our class according to the schedule. Okay, yes. So, we will see this. We will see this. This was the person 
okay warhurst he was the person who basically gave this logistic model it on the pearl logistic growth and so on okay so it has lag phase phase of acceleration phase of deceleration and a uh, finally an asymptote okay so ipdi nadakkudhu pasangala it goes like this okay but in your textbook they have just shown it only this much okay so idu vandu log idu van lag idu vandu log okay idu vandu stationary i will show it to you with the help of this okay very very important romba mukyam dn by dt is equal to rn into k minus n by k k minus n by k you can see here okay what is k ma'am k is the carrying capacity here we consider the carrying capacity carrying capacity na okay i will again explain ipo or 2 uh, kilo 2 square kilometer area irukku nu vechukonga andha ethana manushanga maximum vaala mudiyum adhu dhaan carrying capacity okay or edathila evlo maximum population irukka mudiyumo adhu dhaan carrying capacity purinjada is it clear is it clear for all of you n is the population density r is the intrinsic rate k is the carrying capacity okay for most animal population resources for growth are limited okay the every part of shape what is the shape of this graph can anyone tell me you can see this is k okay what is the shape of this graph it is a s shaped right it is sigmoid it is sigmoid yes it is sigmoid okay it is survival survival okay not not living okay super super in the graph na abu vechukonga kandipa na solra oru kelvi idilende kekalam okay so that's about the logistic growth okay ipa nama population interaction ku porom the next important topic so 20 minutes la population mudichaachi adutha idu population interaction romba mukkiyamaana vishayam romba easy aana vishayam yen pa oru population innor population kuda interact pannum why should they interact okay why should they interact ma'am teach the difference between logistic and exponential growth one second one second logistic exponential romba simple modal difference logistic is j shaped curve okay exponential is s shaped or sigmoid okay adutha difference inga vande resources inga vande resources unlimited okay neenga note down pannikalam okay inga vande resources limited okay resources limited okay this is the major difference this is the major difference என்ன ஆமா ஆமா சாரி சாரி ஓகே எக்ஸ்போனன்ஷியல் லாஜிஸ்டிக் ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் வெரி ரேர் திஸ் இஸ் வெரி வெரி ரேர் ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் த மோஸ்ட் காமன் ஒன் ஓகே இதுக்கு அப்புறம் அந்த கிராஃபோ அந்த ஈக்குவேஷனோ எழுதிடுங்க okay that's it you will write the graph you will write the equation that's the difference clear clear everyone all of you can we continue can we continue yes so population interaction ku pogalam population interaction ye mukhyamana vishayam na okay it is a requirement and mode of obtaining food obviously how are we all getting food okay we eat we eat we eat products from plants we eat product from animal that is also an interaction adu kuda or interaction na okay nature of shelter and space required habits of the species like aggregation breeding adukellame adukellame nam interact panni da aganum vera population kuda inda or table so very so very important pasangala okay ella interaction ume positive a irukuma ma'am illa okay ella interaction ume negative a irukuma ma'am illa okay they are a mixture of both okay so mutualism both the organism are positively benefited okay unakku benefit enakku benefit okay then competition unga class la yaar first rank vaanga pora andra competition irukum correct ah so competition both of them are negatively affected okay so there are many organism inga manushanga kulli avlo competition irukku neenga la yen je eldringa neet eldringa because you have you want to prove that you are better right so and the competition is very 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 important adutha predation 
okay lion eating deer okay and your tiger eating other animals that is what we call predation okay here the predator you are positively affected predator okay who is negatively affected prey okay adhe mari you have parasitism parasitism is positive negative da inga idhula yaar vand affect positively affect agra parasite yaar negatively affect agra host okay common salism na for one the one organism is positively benefited other organism is neither benefited nor harm so we call it as a plus zero interaction okay yes there is no trick you can just remember mutualism plus plus okay illa ipdi eludite plus plus minus minus plus minus plus minus plus zero minus zero nu nabu vachikalam yes human and lice obviously okay adutadu namakulla iruka tapeworm that is also a parasite host then you have this amensalism okay here it is negative and zero romba interesting a irukapo nama idha da discuss panna porom okay how how these predators are evolving how this uh, prey is evolving adellama nama iniki paaka porom okay is this clear is this clear can we continue voice is very low voice is still very low ore or nimsham is the voice okay now ipo okay la voice okay so predation predation na enna pa there will be a predator it will eat the prey correct ah so this prey will start developing this prey will start developing i am in salism example shushara solra ad textbook la illa kandipa solra okay just wait ellame mudichittu quick ah solra okay so this prey will develop a mechanism in order to protect itself from the predator okay camouflage solrom what is camouflage change of color correct ah ellarkume theriyum what is camouflage okay changing of color is called camouflage to avoid being detected easily by the predator that's very very important uh, i will try to finish by 1 and 1/2 hour 1 and 1/2 hour ku la mudike try pandren okay yes so some are poisonous and therefore avoided by the predator you can see the monarch butterfly this is given in your textbook okay the monarch butterfly is highly distasteful to its predator so in the butterfly na romba kasappa irukum so and the predator bird and the butterfly kitte pogadu okay so because it produces a special chemical okay then you have thorns in our acacia cactus mull irukum and the mull irukadala endo or insect or bird or and the chedi kitta poi saapdave saapdadu okay then you have kelotropis okay it is highly poisonous okay it has cardiac glycoside so in the grazing animals in the cow goat sheep ala in the kelotropis plant kitta pogave pogadu super hark la idala right so cardiac glycoside na and they affect your heart that is what we call cardiac glycoside okay yes na la charles darwin ala kedaiyadu pa okay a wide variety of chemical substances that we ye ecology la charles darwin vandichi charles darwin evolution la dana varano okay a wide variety of chemical substances that we extracted from plants a commercial scale nicotine caffeine q9 okay opm they are all produced actually as a defense against grazers and browsers so these plants produce all this chemical like a defense mechanism to protect them from all the grazers okay yes i hope this is clear okay predation idu dhaan pa nadakkudhu you can see thorns you can see this monarch butterfly okay that's very 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 important adutha the competition romba mukkiyamaana vishayam okay so 1.5 lakh per neat eldri neat el tamil nadu la 1.5 lakh per neat eldringa okay vera 5000 medical seat kaga so what is that it's a competition right so what is this competition we all have limited resources so just like how you have limited seats we all have limited resources okay that's very 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 important to understand it's a process in which the fitness of one species is measured okay how was the fitness measured in case of ecology we measure it in terms of r so r is very 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 important intrinsic rate of increase okay a very good morning very good morning oh super super it exam na please do write it well hi hi samriddha hi samriddha ipdi irkinga okay so it is a struggle between two or more organism for obtaining various requirements for their survival so competition inga paarenga in the uh, flamingo and the fish they both of them compete for the zooplanktons okay so the flamingo and the fish they compete for the same resource 
Okay, competition can be of two types. Okay, one one is our meaning. You guys all know. One one the intraspecific. Okay, intraspecific. Another one the interspecific. What do you mean by this? Quick, guys, all of you guys know. Intraspecific na na. Interspecific na na. Yes, quick. Intra means within the same species. Okay, one species ko la within. Okay, whereas inter means with other. With others, रोम्बो 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 मुख्य माना विषयों. Intraspecific ना competition between the same species. Yes, very good. Okay, inter ना with others. Okay, नाले क्यों मेरे के नाले क्यों मेरे के session. Okay, yeah. Can we continue? Hi, good morning, good morning. Yes, super, super, super. Very good. यार अल्लाह answer पन रीग ना रोम्बो अल्लाह विषयों. Okay, yes. इपर हम आपका. Competition exclusive principle. Okay, now one other question. Sell right. In the or competition, you one or winner matter na arka madiyo. Naanu jaykono, niyu jaykono na thumba kashto. Okay, ipo one edathke, or edathke, or thanga sanda porranga na. When two species fight for that one place, okay, only one species will go. The other species will be excluded. Other than our competitive exclusive principle in solro. Ida yar propose panna na goss. Okay, this was proposed by Gauss. Okay, so Gauss competitive exclusion principle states that two closely related species competing for the same resource. ये रोम्बो मुख्य है पसंगला. This will surely be us. Please make a note of it. Gauss exclusive principle. Hi, hi, hi. I see many of my students from Neet Tamil channel. I'm so happy. Okay, so if the Neet को और super quick revision आ रखो, you can watch it. Okay, cannot coexist indefinitely, and the competitively inferior one will be eliminated even eventually. But reality shows the lie. इन्ना नारक दे. ओके उनको सुपर सिंगर आगे टांडा शो आला इन्हें नारक दे और और वारा और और तंगले एलिमिनेट पन रहेंगे कड़े इस चीज़ लो रूम उन पेर मून इन्हें नाल पेर रह पाएंगे आँगलो फिनाले कोट रह पाएंगे आधे लड़ने और ये और तंगले दाने जाइ करांगे आधे ये विषय ना आएंगे यस गॉस साइंटिस्ट नेम यस ग Yes, good morning, good morning. Okay, so there are some circumstantial evidences which supports the exclusion of species due to competition. Okay, so Galapagos Island, Charles Darwin expert panade. Okay, so introduction of goats resulted in extinction of this ambigdon tortoise. Okay, so introduction of this goats, okay, destroy the population of this tortoise. Okay, because of competition. Some same same interaction between the Balanus and your Clanthus on the rocky coast of Scotland. So there was Balanus and this organism in the rocky coast. So there was an interaction between them, and one of them one of them developed, the other didn't develop. So इधर तो हम अकॉम्पिटिटिव एक्सक्लूजन प्रिंसिपल इन सोल रोम. Okay, yes. पुरुष जो था इलार को में इलार को में पुरुष जो था गॉस एक्सक्लूजन और वो एक स्पीशीज एक्सक्लूड आए रची और ना कड़ेसी लोग ओरे और तंगदार पांगा उनका दां विनर दैट्स इट ओके रिसोर्स पार्टिशनी इप्पो ओर 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 चिन्ना ओर चिन्ना ओर एनालॉजी सोल रहे ओके रेंडा ओर अन्नन तंबी ओके ओर ऐड तक संडा पोड़ रहा है इधर ये ऐड ओ इधर वो ऐड ओन ओके सो कड़ेसी लोग ओर मुड़ी हुई करांग इना इवन को ऐड वेनो इवन को ऐड वेनो सो इन्ना वरांग है सर इन द पादी नी ऐड तो को इन द पादी ना ऐड तक रहे दे कम टू अ दे कम टू अ कंक्लुजन आधा दान अमर रिसोर्स पार्टिशनिंग इन सोल रों ओके म्यूचुअला ये उल्ला नाला रख पारंगे नम्मा कुला रख दे बेटर बट ऑर्गेनिज्म्स कुला इन द रिसोर्स पार्टिशनिंग रख पसंगला दैट इज़ द हाइलाइट ओके सर इन द पगड़ीये नी ऐड तो कोंगे इन द पगड़ीये ना ऐड तो करे इधर डॉग्स ले ना या पापिंग you will see in dogs okay edacho or dog vandu pudu dog edacho road ku vandirchina if it comes to your road okay all the dogs will chase that dog out right so they would have marked their territories idu da enoda territory idukulla da na irpa nee idukulla varakudadu they have their own territories so that is a kind of resource partitioning very 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 important yes yes correct correct very good very good okay goats will de goats destroy tortoise goats will not destroy tortoise pasangla goats vandu seekrama ella food yum saapturchi okay adanal tortoise ku food kedakkila so tortoise population declined okay yes that's the whole thing okay yes uh, thank you for explaining na explain panniterkumode okay so if two species compete for the same resource they could avoid Competition by choosing, for instance, different times for feeding or different foraging pattern. Foraging, na going in search of food. Okay, you can see here. 
இது ஒரே மரம் ஒரு மரத்துல எத்தனை பேர்ட்ஸ் வாழுது பாருங்க மேல் மேல் பகுதியில ஒரு பேர்ட் இந்த பகுதியில ஒரு பேர்ட் இந்த பகுதியில ஒரு பேர்ட் இந்த பகுதியில ஒரு பேர்ட் இந்த பகுதியில ஒரு பேர்ட் சோ இங்க வந்து பீஸ்ஃபுல்லா வாழ்றாங்க நம்மள மாதிரி சண்டை போட்டுக்கல நீ இது வச்சுக்கோ நான் இது வச்சுக்கிறேன் நிம்மதியா வாழ்வோம் தட் இஸ் வாட் தேர் டூயிங் தட் இஸ் வாட் தேர் டூயிங் இஸ் இட் கிளியர் ஓகே அது சோஸ் பார்ட்டிஷனிங் திஸ் இஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஓகே மார்க் ஆர்த்தர் ஷோட் தட் five closely related species of warblers okay living on the same tree were able to avoid competition and coexist due to the behavioral difference in their foraging character neeyo nalla iru nanu nalla irken that's it that's it that's very 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 important can we continue can we continue pasanga resource partitioning murinjada yes yes obviously it's a very nice model that nature is giving us correct ah yeah so adutathu parasitism okay nalla vishayame kedaiyadu adu romba ketta vishayam especially to human beings right so what are these parasites they live inside the host they need a host okay rendu vidamana parasites irukku can anyone tell me can anyone tell me you have ectoparasite and endoparasite ecto na they live outside the body endo na they live inside the body so ectoparasite ke example ena leech lice okay endoparasite ke example ena malaria is a parasite okay liver fluke tapeworm roundworm ekkachakamana parasites irukke ekkachakamana parasites irukke yes yes definitely human beings should learn from animals correct yeah majority of the parasite harm the host they may reduce the survival growth and reproduction of the host and reduce its population density okay human human liver fluke irukke it's an uh, nematode parasite okay and you have two intermediate host a snail and a fish to complete its life cycle so liver fluke vandu rendu host irukke so digenic nu solluvom when an organism has when a uh, parasite has two host we call it as digenic okay the malarial parasite needs a vector you know vector it carries the organism from one person to other person that is your female anaphilus mosquito i hope this is clear pasangla okay adutha vishayam paakalam you can see ectoparasite and endoparasite you can see this lice on the head periya prachana adu correct ah especially girls ku school ku ponaale nariya pillaigal ku school ku ponaale indha prachana vandrum okay so parasites that feed on the external surface of the host organism are called ectoparasite lice on humans and ticks on dogs okay many marine fish are infested with ectoparasite you can see the fish the fish is infested by an ectoparasite okay yes nematode yes nematode nematode vand actually it is a idu analida okay yes so cascuta a parasitic plant that is commonly found in growing on hedge plant on a plants new parasitic plant irukku example is cascuta okay yes the female mosquito is not considered a parasite but it is considered as a vector remember remember that okay yes vector is something that carries rendu meaning irukku pasangala vector in biotechnology vector in human health and disease vector in biotechnology is a carrier of your foreign dna vector in your human health and disease carries disease that's all okay can we continue can we continue yes endoparasite they live inside inside the host okay so na sonna mari you have your liver fluke you have tapeworm you have roundworm ekka chakka ekka chakamana parasites irukke okay yes brood parasitism yaarka theriyuma what is brood parasitism yes nematode varudhu biotech la what is it melidogyne incognita it causes infest your roots okay of tobacco plant brood parasitism idla romba interesting ana vishayam what this cuckoo does okay this cuckoo goes and lays eggs in a crow's nest okay cuckoo ellarkume theriyum the cuckoo poi crow da nest la poi it will lay the egg okay and the crow go and the egg vandu thannoda dhan solli it will incubate it it will grow it will basically help in hatching appra hatch panni mudichone it will know idu vandu ennoda ennoda kolanda illa okay that is what we call it as brood parasitism yes very good very good mam malaria ectova endo obviously it is endo endo okay yes shall we continue shall we continue pasangla is a brood parasitism yes it's very interesting common salism common salism na orthanga vandu positive a affect avranga innorthanga vandu zero they are neither affected they are neither affected nor harmed okay so this interaction one species benefits and the other is neither harmed or benefited an orchid growing as an epiphyte on a mango tree you can see here 
you can see here, here the mango is 0, okay, in the, in the infused fund, right? The mango is 0, it is neither affected nor harmed, whereas this is positively affected. And the mari, okay? Then you have the branchials growing on the back of the veil. So, this is positive, this is 0. The veil is neither affected nor harmed, okay? And then you have the cattle egret and the grazing cattle, okay? Sea anemone and clownfish. Sea anemone and clownfish, it's a uh, positive 0, either one the positive, okay, either one the 0. So, sea anemone hides from its predators. All these examples are very, very, very important, okay? The crow will not do anything. The, that new bird will fly away. That's it. Okay. Can we continue? Pasangla? Examples rombo rombo mukhya mana vishyam. Yes. We shall continue. Mutualism. Mutualism man rombo mukhya mana vishyam. It's a positive, positive interaction. Okay. So, you have lichens. What are lichens? Yes. Examples are enough. You just try to understand what is it. So, it is a positive zero interaction one organism is positively affected other organism is neither affected nor benefited examples are very 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 important okay Adhe Mari, coming to your lichens what is this lichens pasangla it is a combination of fungi and algae the fungi component is called mycobion and the algae component is called phycobion okay so you end up and the fungi theviana food when they are kudukra algae kudukra okay are they maria and the fungi theviana where the shingle okay protection shelter other than i are kudukra this uh, algae is giving they are mutually they are mutually benefited okay the most best thing okay yes mycorrhiza mycorrhiza and radu or fungi it lives in the roots of higher plant you can see we study this in microbes and human welfare also okay uh, bio fertilizers the fungi help the plant in the absorption of essential nutrients from the soil plant in turn provide the fungi a high energy yielding of carbohydrates so positive positive okay in you positive positive can we continue can we continue mutualism so where with the mana mutualism or pollination is a mutualism so pollination line the insects or birds helps in pollination in turn the flower the flower will give its reward or a reward other than a floral reward in solro in the nectar in solro we call it as a nectar Okay, so plants offer rewards or peace in the form of pollen and nectar. It free You have to work hard. That is what this lesson is what nature is giving us. Okay, so yeah, a specific fig species can be pollinated by its partner vast species and no other species. Okay, so in a solrangana or specific fig species, vero vasp or particular vasp matrona. When they, it can pollinate in Solranga. The female wasp uses the fruit not only as an OV position site but uses the developing seeds within the fruit for nourishing. Okay, so that's very, very important. Okay, it is a Solranga mutual relationship between fig tree and wasp. You can see the wasp which is growing inside. Fig flower is pollinated by wasp, wasp is laying eggs in the fig. Okay, yes. Obviously, that is also mutualism. You, you give the company your best. Okay, the company is giving you salary. That is also mutualism. In the mutualism, it is symbiotic. Okay, symbiotic relationship. Very good. Wasp and fig tree. So, in the chat section, wasp and fig tree is an example of mutualism. Okay, that is the vision. Ecosystem. That is the Munadi. Amin Salism example. Matro Solira. Okay, amensalism. What is amensalism? It is a negative zero interaction. Correct? Negative zero. Yuka and moth. Yes. Yes. Yuka and moth is also an example. Very good. Very good. Um, amensalism example. Arad Soldringla. Can anyone tell me the example for amensalism? Negative zero. Textbook la illa. But they have given it in the table. Right? So, amensalism example matro patarla. Quick ka solunga pasangla. Famine salism or example in you have your penicillin. Correct? So, you were yara, yara Alexander Fleming. So, Alexander Fleming in the group and eat in the He was culturing bacteria, Staphylococcus. Okay? Staphylococcus and the culture pan eat in the Abhi culture pan eat in the He saw the growth of penicillin. Okay? He saw the growth of penicillin. Okay, 
இந்த பெனிசிலின் என்ன பண்ணுச்சு என்னோட ஸ்டெஃபைலோ காக்கஸை கில் பண்ணுச்சு ஓகே ஸோ ஸ்டெஃபைலோ காக்கஸ் வாஸ் நெகட்டிவ்லி அஃபெக்டட் வெர் ஆஸ் மை பெனிசிலின் வாஸ் நீதர் அஃபெக்டட் வாஸ் நீதர் அஃபெக்டட் நார் பெனிஃபிட்டட் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபார் ஆமன் சாலிசம் நெகட்டிவ் ஜீரோ புரிஞ்சுதா எல்லாருக்குமே எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபார் ஆமன் சாலிசம் எனி டவுட்ஸ் எனி டவுட்ஸ் இயர் கேன் பி கண்டினியூ ஓகே எக்கோ சிஸ்டம் ஸோ எக்கோ சிஸ்டம் இன்னும் ஈஸியான சாப்டர் ஓகே இதில் பெருசாக ஒன்றுமே இல்லை ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி பற்றி தான் நிறையா பேச போகிறோம் யூ கோன் டாக் அபவுட் ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி ஓகே எஸ் வாட் ஆல் யூ கோன் ஸ்டடி எக்கோ சிஸ்டம் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் அண்ட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி டீகாம்போசிஷன் எனர்ஜி ஃப்ளோ எனர்ஜி பிரமிட் ஓகே இதில் ரொம்ப முக்கியமான விஷயம் டீகாம்போசிஷன் எனர்ஜி பிரமிட் அண்ட் நாட் எனர்ஜி பிரமிட் இட்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் பிரமிட் ஓகே ஓகே பிரமிட்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்காலஜிக்கல் பிரமிட்ஸ் எனர்ஜி பிரமிட்ஸ் கிடையாது ஓகே தீஸ் த்ரீ ஆர் மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் can we continue can we continue can i get a thumbs up in the chat section okay i will be a little more faster quick ah mudichiralam an ecosystem can be visualized as a functional unit of nature idella summa ninga social science padikira mari da okay okay yes where living organism interact among themselves interact among themselves and with the surrounding environment okay so ecosystem is a unit basic unit okay since this system is too much big and complex to be studied at one time it is convenient to divide it into two basic categories one is your terrestrial ecosystem other one is your aquatic ecosystem simple okay terrestrial land enna varum forest grassland desert okay adhe mari unga aquatic land enna varum pond lake wetland river estuary there are all some examples crop crop fields and aquarium idu romba mukhyamana or mcq everything is from ncert pasangala na vera enga irundho enoda material edukkuradilla it's from ncert especially this ecosystem and biodiversity i have to completely from ncert okay yes may also be considered as man made ecosystem illati adha vandu nama artificial ecosystem nu kuda solrom okay adutha vishayam paakalam vertical distribution of different species occupying different levels is called stratification romba okay? so, important ana definition okay so oru oru organism oru oru level la irukum ella organism ore trophic level la irukuma kedeyave kedaiyad okay estuary is a place where your river meets your sea that is what we call estuary okay yes purinjada purinjada ellarkume yes for example trees occupy the top vertical strata okay or forest la tree da first strata அதுக்கப்புறம் குட்டி குட்டி ட்ரீஸ் அதுக்கப்புறம் ஷ்ரப்ஸ் அதுக்கப்புறம் ஹர்ப்ஸ் ஓகே தட் இஸ் வாட் யூ கால் இட் அட்ராட்டிபிகேஷன் ஒரு எக்கோ சிஸ்டம் எப்படி நம்ம ஒரு பாப்புலேஷனை வந்து டிஃபைன் பண்ணமோ ஒரு எக்கோ சிஸ்டம்ல இந்த எல்லா ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸும் நம்ம பார்ப்போம் ஓகே ஸோ வி சி ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி வி சி டிகாம்போசிஷன் வி சி எனர்ஜி ஃப்ளோ அண்ட் வி சி நியூட்ரியன் சைக்ளிங் வெரி 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 இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் okay so in the vaati ungalku nutrient cycling complete ah complete ah delete panirukanga they have deleted it okay you just have to study these three things okay minji pona minji pona or 25 minutes ena kudutinga i will explain this entire thing for you okay we, shall we start shall we start pasangala okay productivity romba mukhyamana vishayam ellaro konjam concentrate panni kelunga apdi idu vandu eldikonga okay illa ncert irundha highlight pannirunga productivity na enna pa இட் இஸ் நான் எவ்வளோ வேலை பார்க்குறேன் கரெக்டாக அதுதான் என்னோட ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி நீங்கள் எவ்வளோ படிக்கிறீங்க அதுதான் அவங்களோட ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி ஓகே ஒரு நர்சரி குழந்த போய் என்ன படிச்சுட்டு வருது என்ன பண்ணுது ஒரு நாளில் அதுதான் ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி ஓகே ஒரு ஐடியில் வேலை பார்க்குறவங்க எவ்வளோ வேலை பார்க்குறாங்க அதுதான் ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி ஓகே ஸோ த சேம் திங் வென் இட் கம்ஸ் டு அன் என்விரான்மெண்ட் த ரேட் ஆஃப் பயோமாஸ் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் இஸ் கால் ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி ஓகே இட் இஸ் எக்ஸ் இட் இஸ் நாட் கிளியர் த ஸ்க்ரீன் இஸ் நாட் கிளியர் யாராச்சும் சொல்கிறீங்களா ஐ வில் சேஞ்ச் த கேமரா செட்டிங் இஃப் இட் இஸ் நாட் கிளியர் ஓகே எஸ் இட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் இன் த டேர்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் இட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் இன் த டேர்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் கிலோ கேலரிஸ் பர் மீட்டர் ஸ்கொயர் பர் இயர் ஸோ கிலோ கேலரிஸ் பர் மீட்டர் ஸ்கொயர் பர் இயர் ஓகே ஆர் வி எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் இன் டேர்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஓகே ஜிஎம் இட் இஸ் கிராம் பர் மீட்டர் ஸ்கொயர் பர் இயர் ஓகே இப்படி வந்து அதை எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் பண்ணுறாங்க ஓகே ஷியோர் ஷியோர் ஸோ கிராஸ் ப்ரைமரி ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி ரெண்டு ப்ரைமரி ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி இருக்குது ஓகே ஒன்று வந்து கிராஸ் இன்னொன்று வந்து நெட் ரொம்ப முக்கியம் கிராஸ் ப்ரைமரி ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி ஆஃப் அன் எக்கோ சிஸ்டம் இஸ் த ரேட் ஆஃப் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஆர்கானிக் மேட்டர் டியூரிங் ஃபோட்டோ சிந்தசிஸ் சே ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பர்சன் எக்ஸ
ஸோ அவங்க வந்து ஒரு ஒரு லட்சம் ரூபாய் சம்பாதிக்கிறாங்க ஒரு லட்ச ரூபாய் அவங்க கம்பெனி வந்து அவங்களுக்கு கொடுக்குது ஓகே மந்த்லி சேலரியா தட் இஸ் கிராஸ் ஓகே பட் அதுல போய் பிஎஃப் பிஎஸ்ஐ என்னமோ டேக்ஸ் டிடக்ஷன் அதெல்லாம் வந்து அவங்க கையில வெறும் எண்பதாயிரம் தான் வருது தட் இஸ் நெட் ஓகே வாட் இஸ் தட் கால் தட் இஸ் கால் நெட் எவ்வளவு கடைசியில என் கையில எவ்வளவு இருக்கோ அதுதான் நம்ம நெட் பிரைமரி ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டின்னு சொல்றோம் okay yes a great is small insects they are small insects that live basically on cattle okay yeah ninga paathirpinga cattle sutti epovume or kutti kutti poochi irukku adha da great okay yes okay we shall continue na sonna la and and salary na abu vechukonga okay gross indradhu and the office enak prom promise pandra or salary person x ku promise pandra or salary okay net indradhu after deduction after esi after pf evlo kedaikidhu adhu dhaan adhu dhaan vandu net okay inga eppadi adha calculate pandrom a considerable amount of gpp is utilized by plants in respiration Yes, varo, kandipa varo. This formula is going to be used. Okay? Yes. That is lost in the form of respiration. Okay? Plants have energy. Okay? They have all the energy. Okay? All the energy is going to be produced. They have all the energy. They have all the energy. So, what do they do? They basically use up something for their own energy. So, that is what we call it as net primary productivity. All of you. all of you please do put it in the chat section okay gpp minus r is equal to npp gpp minus r is equal to npp please do put it okay so ma'am what is species composition what are the kind of species a particular ecosystem is made up of adha da species composition okay so or ecosystem la ethana vidamana species irukke enna la species irukke that is what we call it as okay so net primary productivity is the available biomass nammalkala irukiradhu enna pa nammalkala micha meediya da kudukudhu plants and the micha meediya is net primary productivity that's it that's it okay yes can we remember r as gst tax you can you can you can yes secondary productivity is defined as the rate of formation ipo secondary ku poitom okay yes idu vandu ellame ncert line da all this is ncert line okay neenga memorize panna venda concept purinjukonga podum okay so secondary productivity is defined as the rate of formation of new organic matter by consumers so nammalla adha saapte valarrom correct ah we all are developing a biomass that is what we call it as secondary productivity romba 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 mukhyamana vishayam is it clear is it clear gpp minus r is equal to npp okay yes you can see it npp is equal to gpp minus r romba romba mukhyamana vishayam the annual net productivity of the whole biosphere or varshathla in the entire earth la evlo productivity irukku nu paapom okay 170 billion tons idala raavu vechukkonuma thevai illa okay of of this despite occupying 70% of the surface the productivity of the oceans are only 55 billion tons okay so ipo nam earth nu eduthukitona 70% is oceans only a little bit is your uh, land 20% mattum da land a irukku okay konjam yosinga aanalume aanalume enoda ocean oda productivity koraiva irukku okay that's very 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 both the chapters one shot only we are doing one shot only we are doing okay yes uh, 10 marks in the entire ecology oda total weightage 10 marks okay all the three chapters ipo nama romba mukhyamana vishayam decomposition ku la pogu porom what is decomposition breakdown right in the decomposition evlo mukhyam na enoda environment la nutrients recycle aagradhukku decomposition mukhyam ena enoda environment ta clean a vechikradhukku decomposition mukhyam so decomposers or saprophytes and solvo they are the most integral part of your environment okay so decomposers break down complex organic matter into inorganic substances like carbon dioxide water and nutrients and this process is called as decomposition yes yes i didn't speak about species here species vandu nama biodiversity and conservation la paakalam inno konja time kudunga adha pathi pesuren okay so dead plants remain such as leaves bark flowers and dead remains of animals including fecal matter constitute detritus detritus na inna they are your decomposing waste okay decomposing waste so and the organism who eat upon detritus are called detrivores ellarum podunga chat section la detrivores consume detritus 
okay detrivores consume detritus idu dhan pasangala detritus this is what we call detritus okay very 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 important process okay ninga confuse aga venda idu konjam light ah irukku but i will teach you in the anju step romba 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 mukkiyamaana vishayam modala fragmentation so fragmentation na enna pa the detrivores detrivores na yaar earthworm fungi they are all detrivores yes yes very good due to low availability of sunlight in ocean there is less productivity yes is decomposer and detrivores the same yes scavenger is different scavenger and unga eagle falcon they are all scavengers unga enna panvaanga ingiyaach yaraach erandirundha they just go and eat them up okay but they will leave a waste okay scavengers they keep they try to keep the environment clean but the major work is done by them okay purinjada yes very good very good super super fragmentation na enna so idu da enna idu engitta nariya decomposed waste irukku so and the waste modala kutti kutti piece a odaikirathu fragmentation simple okay leaching what is leaching idu da nariya perku puriyadhu by the process of leaching the water soluble inorganic nutrients go down into the soil okay and the decomposed waste la detritus la irukka water soluble inorganic waste will go down they will seep down into the earth okay and they get precipitated as unavailable salt this is a sure short question pasangala romba romba mukkiyamana question அடுத்தது கேட்டபாலிசம் கேட்டபாலிசம்னா என்ன என்னோட பாக்டீரியால ஃபங்கை இல்ல நிறைய என்சைம்ஸ் இருக்கும் ஓகே வாட் தீஸ் என்சைம்ஸ் டூ தீஸ் என்சைம்ஸ் பிரேக் டவுன் ஓகே தீஸ் என்சைம் வாட் டூ தே டூ தே பிரேக் டவுன் த டெட்ரிட்டஸ் இன் டு சிம்பிளர் இன்ஆர்கானிக் சப்ஸ்டன்சஸ் நீங்க கேட்கலாம் மேம் ஃப்ராக்மெண்டேஷனுக்கும் கெட்டபாலிசம்க்கும் என்ன மேம் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் ஃப்ராக்மெண்டேஷனும் பிரேக் டவுன் தான் சொல்றீங்க கெட்டபாலிசமும் பிரேக் டவுன் தான் சொல்றீங்க ஃப்ராக்மெண்டேஷன் இஸ் அ பிசிக்கல் ப்ராசஸ் பசங்களா கெட்டபாலிசம் இஸ் அன் என்சமேட்டிக் ப்ராசஸ் ரிமெம்பர் தட் ஓகே வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அடுத்தது ஹியூமிஃபிகேஷன் நேற்று கூட லைஃப்ல கேட்டிருந்தாங்க யாரோ மேம் வாட் இஸ் ஹியூமிஃபிகேஷன் என்ன ஹியூமிஃபிகேஷன் அண்ட் மினரலைசேஷன் ஹியூமிஃபிகேஷன் அடுத்தது மினரலைசேஷன் தி அக்கர் டியூரிங் டிகாம்போசிஷன் இன் த சாயில் humification leads to accumulation of a dark colored amorphous substance called humus nama kali mand nu solran theriyuma we call it as clay okay so that clay is also called as humus okay it's a dark colored amorphous highly resistant substance okay it is highly resistant to microbial action and it undergoes decomposition extremely extremely slow neat ku idu romba romba mukkiyamana or line நிறைய வாட்டி கேட்டிருக்காங்க ஹியூமஸ் பத்தி ஓகே அண்ட் திஸ் என்டயர் என்டயர் கொஸ்டின் வாஸ் ஆஸ்ட் இன் யோர் சிபிஎஸ்இ எக்ஸாம் மாத்தி மாத்தி இல்ல ஒரே வாட்டி கேட்டிருக்காங்க ஓகே அடுத்தது மினரலைசேஷன் என்ன நடக்குது த ஹியூமஸ் இஸ் ஃபர்தர் டிகிரேடட் ஸ்லோலி ஸ்லோலி ஓகே பை சம் மைக்ரோப்ஸ் அண்ட் ரிலீஸ் ஆஃப் இன்ஆர்கானிக் நியூட்ரியன்ஸ் அக்கர் பை த ப்ராசஸ் கால் மினரலைசேஷன் ஸோ என்ன நடக்குது ஃப்ராக்மெண்டேஷன் லீச்சிங் கெட்டபாலிசம் humification mineralization flc hm all of you put it in the chat section flc hm fragmentation leaching catabolism humification mineralization yes a uh, catabolism and metabolism difference uh, catabolism na metabolism is chemical reaction metabolism la rendu vidham irukku catabolism anabolism okay catabolism na it is breakdown anabolism na synthesis super super flc hm na vachikinga ungalku 5 mark kedaikum sure a 5 mark ku varaatiyum 3 mark ku varum indha lesson la vera kekkuradhu ponnume illa pasangala ena paadi portions delete panitaanga okay they have deleted half of the portions let's move on let's I'll try to understand so in the decomposition pathi or important information kuduthirukanga which i wanted to discuss decomposition is largely an oxygen requiring process okay this is directly from your ncrt the rate of decomposition is the assertion and reason la kudukalam they can give you an assertion reason the rate of decomposition is controlled by chemical composition of detritus and climatic factors kekalam what are the factors that denotes your date of um, amorphous na uh, amorphous how do i tell you amorphous and crystalline powder mari neenga apply pandringala powder and the powder eppadi irukum ரொம்ப பவுடரியா இருக்கும் தட் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் அமார்பஸ் தூளுப்பு ரைட் யூ ஹாவ் யோர் பவுடர் சால்ட் எஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் மேம் நெக்ஸ்ட் இயர் புக் ஓபன் ஓபன் புக் எக்ஸாமா ஓ நைஸ் பட் ஆனா அது அவ்வளவு ஈஸி கிடையாது ஓபன் புக் எக்ஸாம் ஓகே பை கெமிக்கல் காம்போசிஷன் ஆஃப் டெட்ரிட்டஸ் அண்ட் கிளைமேட்டிக் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் 
okay in a particular climatic condition decomposition rate is slower if detritus is rich in lignin and chitin okay in our detritus la adhigamana polysaccharide lignin and chitin irundhuchna obviously obviously my decomposition will become slow okay yes and quicker if the detritus is rich in the nitrogen and water soluble substances like sugar okay temperature and soil mass moisture are the most important climatic factors so climatic factors la temperature and soil moisture and soil la evlo thanni content irukku moisture irukku okay that's very 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 important and that regulate the decomposition through their effects on their activity warm and moist environment favor decomposition where low temperature and anaerobiosis what is anaerobiosis no oxygen inhibit the decomposition resulting in build up of organic material romba romba mukkiyam enna solranga high temperature okay moist environment favor decomposition low temperature okay anaerobiosis anaerobiosis na oxygen illada oru vishayam okay this is very very important yeah nariya iruka state board pasangalukku okay adutathu energy flow ஒரே ஒரு நிமிஷம் நான் கேமரா செட்டிங்ஸ் மாத்திட்டு வந்துடுறேன் ஓகே இஸ் இஸ் க்ளீன் ஓகே ஃபார் யூ கைஸ் இஸ் இஸ் கிளியர் ஆர் ஷுட் ஐ சேஞ்ச் இட் ஷுட் ஐ லைட் அண்ட் இட் ப்ளீஸ் டூ லெட் மீ நோ ஓகே ஸோ எனர்ஜி ஃப்ளோனா என்னப்பா எக்ஸப்ட் ஃபார் டீப் சி ஹைட்ரோ தெர்மல் வெண்ட் சன் இஸ் அ ஒன்லி சோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எனர்ஜி ஃபார் ஆல் எக்கோ சிஸ்டம் ஓகே சன் இஸ் அ ஒன்லி சோர்ஸ் கோல்டு கிளைமேட் டிகாம்போசிஷன் இஸ் வெரி ஸ்லோ வெரி ஸ்லோ ஓகே என்ன சொல்றாங்கன்னா நம்ம எல்லாருக்குமே இன்க்ளூடிங் ஹியூமன் பீயிங்ஸ் நம்ம எல்லாருக்குமே எனர்ஜி யார்கிட்ட இருந்து வருது சன் கிட்ட இருந்து வருது ஹீ இஸ் த அல்டிமேட் சோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எனர்ஜி இட்ஸ் நாட் கிளியர் ஓகே ஜஸ்ட் மினிட் ஜஸ்ட் மினிட் இப்போ என்னோட ஃபேஸ் கொஞ்சம் டல் ஆயிரும் ஓகே எஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஆஃப் தி இன்சிடென்ட் சோலார் ரேடியேஷன் ஃபிஃப்டி பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் இட் இஸ் ஃபோட்டோ சிந்தட்டிக்கலி ஆக்டிவ் ரேடியேஷன் ஓகே நம்ம சன்லேருந்து நம்ம வரக்கூடிய ரேடியேஷனில் ஐம்பது சதவீதம் டீப் சி ஹைட்ரோ தெர்மல் எக்கோ சிஸ்டம்னா நம்ம டீப் சீக்குள்ள தேர் வில் பி ஹாட் வாட்டர் ஸ்ப்ரிங்ஸ் அதை தான் நம்ம டீப் சி ஹைட்ரோ தெர்மல் வெண்ட்னு சொல்கிறோம் okay yes so you have this photosynthetically active radiation 50% da in the 50% la in our plants verum 2 to 10% mattrum da use pannu my plants use only 2 to 10% of the par par na enna all of you put in the chat section par photosynthetically active radiation is what we call it as par am i clear am i clear for everyone 2 to 10% the and this small amount of energy sustains the entire living world in the entire ulagathukku energy kudukkuradhu yaar in the 2% of solar energy okay that's very 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 important okay adutha vishayathukku pogalam producers who are these producers they produce basically the food obviously okay photosynthetically active radiation the green plants in the ecosystem are called producers okay not just green plants you also have photosynthetic bacteria okay in the terrestrial ecosystem major producers are herbaceous and woody plants adhe mari nammude aquatic ecosystem la yaar iruka who is there in the aquatic ecosystem yes you have this producers in an aquatic ecosystem are various species like phytoplankton algae and higher plants okay higher plants so irukke nama deep sea ku la okay yes very good very good adutha the consumers ivula paathu confuse aagadinga na simple ah solli tharen all animals depend on plants directly or indirectly we are all totally dependent on producers idella or anjad aaradhula padichirpingla ama va illaya solunga pasanga you would have studied it in 5th or 6th standard primary consumer secondary consumer tertiary consumer the same thing here the same thing here pudusa onnume kedaiyadhu yes 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 deep sea is still a mystery no one no one has ever gone inside right so all animal depend on plants for their food needs they are hence called consumers and also heterotrophs so we enna solrom pasangala heterotrophs nu solrom if they feed on the producers directly we call them as primary 
consumers all your hobby was all your hobby was okay and if animals eat other animals which in turn eat plants they are called secondary consumers okay i will explain you i have a food chain i'll explain you likewise you could have a tertiary consumer too obviously primary consumer will be herbivores okay some common herbivores insect birds mammals in terrestrial ecosystem and mollusks in aquatic ecosystem the consumers that feed on these herbivores and carnivores are more correctly primary carnivores okay those secondary consumers they are primary car carnivores though they are secondary consumer so ellathukume mela ortar irpaar avar yare tertiary consumers okay yes we call them as tertiary consumer very 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 important okay so you have food chain food chain na enna pa it is an interdependence of one organism on another okay so you have grass okay grass will be eaten by grasshopper okay grasshopper will be later be eaten by bird and this bird will be later be eaten by any uh, in any any particular predator okay like sadana yaro naavu varala predator okay this is what we call it as food chain this is what we call it as food chain yes we are also tertiary yes okay so rendu vidamana food chain irukku onnu vandu grazing innonu vandu detritus okay grazing food chain la in the first trophic level vandu it is a producer okay detritus food chain la it starts with detritus okay it starts with what detritus detritus na enna pasangala what do you guys understand by detritus yes yes i'll tell you i'll tell you okay i have this this is your grazing and this is your detritus detritus food chain la modala irukadu detritus ma'am detritus na enna ma'am dead and decaying matter okay so it could be dead plant it could be dead animal it could be anything anything that is dead is called detritus okay so here the first trophic level or the first one is a detritus grazing food chain the first one is basically a produce plant okay purunjitha ellarkume this is what we call it as a detritus food chain and this is what we call it as a grazing food chain so you can see detritus is eaten by a earthworm now this earthworm is eaten by another rat or mouse okay idu da ungala detritus food chain inga paarenga the cabbage is eaten by caterpillar the caterpillar is eaten by a bird that's it yes food chain that starts with detritus super super okay shall we continue mukhyamana vishayam they can ask you difference between grazing food chain and detritus food chain okay yes so let's talk about grazing food chain and detritus food chain in an aquatic ecosystem gfc grazing food chain is the major conduit of energy flow okay as against this in a terrestrial ecosystem a much larger fraction of energy flows through the detritus food chain than through gfc gfc na grazing food chain okay so enna solranga na aquatic ecosystem la gfc da major okay adhe in a terrestrial ecosystem la dfc detritus food chain da major okay is it clear litter na it is any waste any waste is litter okay ninga plastic potalo adu litter but when it is coming to detritus it is organic matter okay yes is it clear is it clear food chain starts with detritus why ma'am means because we have my detritivores i have my bacteria i have my fungi i have my earthworm they all completely depend on detritus adanalada okay? okay gfc does not involve in nutrient cycle uh, dfc involve in nutrient cycle yes absolutely correct absolutely correct okay so detritus food chain may be connected with the grazing food chain at some levels so all these food chains are all interconnected pasangala adha da nama food web nu solrom adha da nama enna nu solrom food web nu solrom some of the organism of dfc that is your detritus food chain become a prey to the gfc animal and in a natural ecosystem some animals like cockroaches crows okay are omnivores so there are a connection between these two food chain so in the enna solranga na in the dfc u in the gfc u they are interconnected okay they are interconnected to each other okay kandipa kandipa is assertion and reason kepanga idu appra the detritus decomposition idla kandipa kepanga so adanalada idu vandu ivlo slow a panniterke and this is directly from your ncert okay na vera endha book me refer pannala yes very good trophic level trophic level na enna pa where do you stand in the food chain 
am I a producer, am I a consumer, consumer na, am I a primary consumer, secondary consumer, that is what we call as trophic level, okay. Based on the source of the nutrition or food, organism occupy a specific place in the food chain and that is known as trophic level, okay, rumbo rumbo mukhyam, producers, epome, producers da, they are belonging to the first trophic level. Okay, hobby was they are the primary consumer and then you have the secondary consumers who are the carnivores to the third. It just goes like that. Okay, the important point to note. Okay, the important point to note here is yes, MCQs will come. One. Uh, yes, yes, we can do it, but it will take a longer time. The students retention will not be there. Okay, yes, the important time to note is that the amount of energy decreases at successive trophic level when any organism dies it is converted into detritus okay organism at each trophic level depend on those at the lower trophic level okay yes we will try to discuss this trophic levels so you can see producer primary consumer secondary consumer tertiary consumer okay let's say for this example first trophic level plants are good Okay, that is aquatic ecosystem la phytoplanktons. Okay, nama terrestrial ecosystem la grass. Primary consumer, you have your aquatic ecosystem zooplanktons. That is nama terrestrial ecosystem grasshopper, cow. Okay, secondary consumer la birds, fishes and wolf. That is tertiary consumer la man and lion. Okay, these are the entire trophic level understanding. Purunjada pasangla is rombo mukhyamana vishu. So, this is going to be very easy. Don't leave this topic for any reason. If this is clear, please give me a thumbs up in the chat section. We shall continue. Okay. Standing crop. This is a definition. Okay. Each trophic level has a certain mass of living material at a particular time. And that is called a standing crop. Okay, now plants are a lot of mass, that is the standing crop. Okay, that's why consumers are a lot of mass, that is the standing crop. Okay, the standing crop is measured as the mass of living organism or number in a unit area. Okay, or unit area, la, say for example, or 10 square kilometer area, there are how many plants, how many mango trees, how many uh, coconut trees, irukhe, okay, and their mass, that is what we call standing crop, very, very, very important. Okay, the biomass of a species is expressed in terms of fresh or dry weight, fresh weight na with water, dry weight na without water, simple, okay. So, this is about standing crop, 10% law, sure short KLV, 10 standard line, you can learn it. 10 standard line, you can learn it. Correct? Mass na inga quantity ya, quantity right, weight illa la. No, it's just a quantity, okay. Yes. What is the number of trophic level in the grazing food chain is restricted as the transfer of energy flows follows 10% law. What is this 10% law? Harad soldering line ake. What is 10% law? So, imagine I simply draw an energy pyramid. Okay, you have your producers. So, you have producers, primary consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer. Okay, say for example, the producer is having 10,000 joule of energy. When this energy is transferred to the primary consumer, it just becomes 1000 joules. When it is transferred to the secondary consumer, it becomes 100 joules. Okay, when it is transferred to the tertiary consumer, it becomes 10 joules. Either da, either da, okay. Two mark varuma, kandi power, food chain la varum, okay. Yes, only 10% of the energy, okay. Inger the all energy for the percent Okay, inger the all energy po the, ito oda 10%. Inger the all energy po the, 10%. Okay, ipo ngay lal kiti or mukhya mana KLV. What is happening to the remaining 90%? And the remaining 90% ki enna pa agade. What is happening? Can anyone tell me? That remaining 90% of energy, what is happening? Can anyone quickly tell me? It's, it's something logical, correct? 10% po the. Micha energy kala enna agade. Anybody? Yes, yes. 90% is lost. In the form of heat. Okay. Transfer agamodhi. They are lost in the form of heat. Yes. They are not used by themselves. They are lost. 
யூஸ் பண்ணி மிச்சம் இருக்கிறது தான் அது யூஸ் பண்ணி மிச்சம் இருக்கிறது தான் இது ஓகே இஸ் இட் கிளியர் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ இஸ் இட் கிளியர் டென் பர்சன்ட் லாவ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் and that is why the energy pyramid is always upright it can never ever be inverted yes okay shall we continue this is the entire thing inge solirukanga paarenga heat textbook paathirundha you will know it okay so you can see the first trophic level some of it is lost in the form of heat when you are getting a little bit okay then you have this some of it is lost in the form of heat it is consumed okay in the manner that irukum this is how it happens this is what is 10% law ஓகே கிளியராக புரிஞ்சுக்கோங்க ஒரு ஒரு வேர்டும் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியம் அடுத்த விஷயம் போகலாம் எக்காலஜிக்கல் பிராமிட் த லாஸ்ட் பார்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் சாப்டர் ஓகே ஸோ இட் இஸ் அ கிராஃபிக்கல் ரெப்ரஸன்டேஷன் ஆஃப் ஃபுட் செயின் இஸ் கால்ட் ஆஸ் அன் எக்காலஜிக்கல் பிராமிட் ரொம்ப முக்கியமான கொஸ்டின்ஸ் வரும் பிரமிட் ஆஃப் நம்பர் பிரமிட் ஆஃப் பயோமாஸ் பிரமிட் ஆஃப் எனர்ஜி வாட் டஸ் பிரமிட் ஆஃப் நம்பர் இண்டிகேட்ஸ் இட் இஸ் த நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஆர்கானிசம் நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஆர்கானிசம் இன் ஈச் ட்ரோபிக் லெவல் in each trophic level adha da idu vandu indicate pannom okay adhe pyramid of biomass it is a biomass at each trophic level okay biomass at each trophic level okay adhe enoda pyramid of energy it is the energy at each trophic level avula da okay energy at each trophic level very 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 important is it clear இஸ் இட் கிளியர் இப்போ வந்து இதோட எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் அவ்வளோதான் இருக்கு இதுல எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் படிச்சிட்டோம்னா முடிஞ்சிடுச்சு ஓகே எஸ் வி ஷெல் கண்டினியூ பிரமிட் ஆஃப் நம்பர்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ பிரமிட் ஆஃப் நம்பர்ஸ் இன் அ கிராஸ் லேண்ட் எக்கோ சிஸ்டம் மேம் இந்த டயக்ராம் வரையணுமா இந்த நம்பர் வரையணுமா டயக்ராம் மட்டும் ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கோ பசங்களா இந்த நம்பர் வந்து அவ்வளோ இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கிடையாது ஓகே இட்ஸ் நாட் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் only three top carnivores are supported in an ecosystem based on the production of nearly 6 million plants inga vande 6 million plant irukku okay nearly nearly 6 million plant irukku ana veru mune mun tertiary consumer da irukku do you see how is it changing do you see how is it okay so here you can see the primary consumer secondary consumer this is your pyramid of numbers so idu edo end ecosystem pasangala grass land ecosystem romba romba mukkiyam what kind of pyramid it is it is an upright it is an upright pyramid okay it stands straight am i clear ellarku idu purinjada is it clear or not please do let me know okay adutha vishayam pyramid of biomass okay it indicates the biomass it is denoted by idu kepaanga it is kg per meter square kg per meter square okay so in the pyramid of biomass there are of two types one is upright okay another one is inverted inga irundha da kelvi kepa kandipa inga irundha kelvi kepa okay sure up so pyramid of biomass is upright in a grassland ecosystem okay inga in a grassland ecosystem so obviously plants oda biomass adhigama irukum then you have primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer okay oh nice <laughs> thank you so much okay yes adutha the inverted inverted na enna inverted na enna konja disturbance irundha earphone potu kelunga okay then you have inverted okay inverted na enna irukku na you see here the primary producers oda uh, producers oda biomass romba kammi and then you have your primary consumers okay producers so the biomass inga veru naalu da kuduthirukanga 4 kg per meter square enna it is an aquatic ecosystem okay in the oceans la okay you have very very less phytoplanktons just now we discussed so this is inverted it is pyramid of biomass romba romba clear ah purinjukonga pyramid of biomass in oceans or in aquatic ecosystem nu kuda illa okay is it clear is it clear exact number theva illa exact number theva illa nabugam in the examples matro nabu vechukta po that's it okay inverted pyramid of biomass ke example kepaanga it is inverted pyramid ko example kudunga nu kepaanga it is a pyramid of biomass in aquatic ecosystem okay is it clear is it clear am i clear here any doubts here okay shall we continue கடைசியா அவன் பார்க்க போறது பிரமிட் ஆஃப் எனர்ஜி ஸோ எல்லாரும் ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கோங்க எல்லாரும் ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கோங்க பிரமிட் ஆஃப் எனர்ஜி இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் 
ऑलवेज अपराइट अरे इन्वर्टर आई इन द सरित्र में कर यार ऑलवेज ये ये इस इट ऑलवेज अपराइट व्हाई इट कैन नॉट बी इन्वर्टेड कैन एनीवन टेल मी कैन एनीवन टेल मी व्हाई इस इट ऑलवेज ऑलवेज अपराइट एनी आइडिया बिकॉज़ देर इस टेन परसेंट लॉ करेक्ट आ एनर्जी उधर कमी आई टेप हो जे एनर्जी इज नेवर एवर द सेम ओके दैट इज व्हाई एनर्जी कैन नॉट बी क्रिएटेड नो इट इज नॉट द आंसर एनर्जी एनर्जी इज लॉस्ट हियर ओके सिंस द एनर्जी इज लॉस्ट एट एवरी ट्रोफिक लेवल ओके द पिरामिड ऑफ एनर्जी इज ऑलवेज ऑलवेज अपराइट ओके इंगो और विषय निंग गाउनी क्यों इंगे ना सोल रहा है ना वन टेन लैक जोल ऑफ सनलाइट रखे 10 lakh joule la in the plants when the 10000 joule da use pannudhu okay that means it is just 1% 10 lakh la 10000 endradhu 1% okay so only 1% of energy is utilized okay or it is basically consumed by the plants idu 1% law idu enna law 1% law okay adukapra inga irundhu pona it is 10% okay it is 10% ma'am it's a simple numerical eppadi ma'am kepaanga kuduthuruvaanga pasangala idu vandu 20 20000 nu solli okay 20000 joule find out the energy of the other other than kuduthuruvaanga solunga let let me keep this as x let me keep this as y let me keep this as z quickly tell me what is the uh, energy at each level using 10% law 20000 producers or odad quick ah solunga pasangala romba easy romba easy Yes, come on, come on. So, one year hint to give you. It is ten percent, so it is two thousand. Adu karte the, adu karte the, two thousand arte the. Rumbe easy pasangla. Yes. Yes, obviously, obviously, every ecosystem it is possible. Okay, two hundred and it is twenty. That's it. In the mari numerical ke pangga. Sure, sure ta. Okay. Oh, really, really. Okay. Yes, that's it. Simple, very simple. Okay, इधम वेस पनी numerical कंडी पा के क्लाम. Okay, yes, we shall continue. इलाटी इप्परी के क्लाम पसंगला. They will give you only secondary consumer. Secondary consumer ओर अधे 300 joules उन कुर्तर वांगे. Okay, you need to find the energy of the others. It is very simple. So इंगे 300 ना, इंगे वंदे 3000 joule, इंगे वंदे 30 joule. Okay, इंगे वंदे 30000 joule. Like this they will give you. That's it. इधर तारा वेरे दुमे के कम आतांगे. Okay. Yes. So coming to the most important points here, in most ecosystem, all the pyramids of number of energy and biomass are upright. Most of the ecosystem producers are more in number. Producers pyramid of yes, it is possible. Why not? Why not? It is possible. इप्पो वन तारा ना पेस नो नरचिते इरने. You have this uh, Ambani family building an entire artificial ecosystem. Correct आ. So अंगा ने energy pyramid possible. Zeus la energy pyramid possible okay pyramid of numbers possible pyramid of biomass possible i hope it is clear now okay yes producers are more in number and biomass than herbivores and herbivores are more in number and biomass than the carnivores so it's always always upright okay there are exceptions ellame exceptions iruk okay if you were to count the number of insects feeding on a big tree ஒரு ட்ரீன்றது ஒரே ஒரு என்டிட்டி ஒரு ட்ரீ எக்கோசிஸ்டம் ஒரு ட்ரீயே தனியா ஒரு எக்கோசிஸ்டம் ஃபார்ம் பண்ணலாம் ஓகே சோ அந்த ட்ரீல எத்தனை எத்தனை இன்செக்ட்ஸ் இருக்கு கரெக்ட்டா சோ a tree ecosystem forms an inverted pyramid we'll go back here yes so inverted inverted pyramid of numbers ஓகே சோ ஒரே ஒரு ட்ரீ இருக்கு கரெக்ட்டா ஒரு ட்ரீல எக்கச்சக்கமான இன்செக்ட்ஸ் இருக்கு ஓகே அதே மாதிரி நிறைய நிறைய बर्ड्स இருக்கு சோ இட் இஸ் a tree ecosystem is an example a tree ecosystem is an example of inverted pyramid of numbers அத மட்டும் ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கோங்க tree ecosystem Is it clear? That is what the entire paragraph has given. That is what they have given in that entire paragraph. Nothing else. Okay? That is what they have given. Yes. So, this is draw the shape you want. You would get. You will get a inverted pyramid. Okay? Yes. At the last vision in this chapter, pyramid of energy is always upright. 
can never be inverted this can be given as an assertion reasoning two more question okay because when energy flows from a particular tropic level to the next tropic level some energy is always lost as heat at heat step idu romba romba mukkiyamaanad okay each bar in the energy pyramid indicates the amount of energy present at each tropic level in a given time okay so this completes i think this entire chapter is complete yes the entire chapter is complete nama kadesiya paaka porudhu biodiversity okay so another half an hour we will complete biodiversity so biodiversity na etana per kashtama irukku pasangala because i hear people telling biodiversity romba kashtama irukku ma'am theviye illa you don't have to have that notion okay shall we get a victory sign we are moving on to the third chapter are you all ready for the third chapter yes or no yes biodiversity what do you mean by biodiversity pasangala இன்னைக்கு இன்னைக்கு கண்டிப்பா இன்னைக்கு எயிட் ஓ கிளாக் கண்டிப்பா செஷன் இருக்கும் எஸ் யூ கைஸ் வாண்ட் டூ மினிட்ஸ் பிரேக் யூ கைஸ் வாண்ட் டூ மினிட்ஸ் பிரேக் ஓகே யூ கேன் கம் பேக் ஐ வில் வெயிட் இப்ப வந்து கரெக்டா என்ன டைம் பா வாட் இஸ் அ டைம் ஓகே ஐ வில் வெயிட் இன்னொரு டூ மினிட்ஸ்ல ஐ வில் ரீஜாயின் பேக் ஓகே ஓகே பசங்களா இவன் ஐ நீட் அ பிரேக் ஜஸ்ட் அ டூ மினிட்ஸ் பிரேக் வில் கம் பேக் ஓகே ம் பிரேக் ஆயிடுச்சா எல்லாருக்குமே பிரேக் முடிஞ்சிச்சா ஓகே மேம் all the numbers are important in this chapter see not all the numbers are important veru silla numbers are important na enna na numbers important nu solren neenga adu matra padicha podum okay so we will do that biodiversity very tough okay yes this is what i hear from many students maybe the reason is you might find difficult in remembering the numbers okay na endha endha numbers la nu kelvi kepaanga nu solra adha matra neenga padinga okay we shall start pasangala what is biodiversity ungalku therinja mari biodiversity na enna the diversity in living organism neenga ipo or butterfly nu eduthukitingna aayiram kanakana species irukku ஒரு பேர்டுன்னு எடுத்துக்கிட்டீங்கன்னா அதுல ஆயிரக்கணக்கான ஸ்பீசிஸ் இருக்கு அதுதான் பயோடைவர்சிட்டி த டைவர்சிட்டி இன் லிவிங் ஆர்கானிசம் இஸ் வாட் வி கால் இட் அஸ் பயோடைவர்சிட்டி இங்க சொல்றாங்க பாருங்க என்னால நம்மனால இதை ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கிறது ரொம்ப கஷ்டம் தே ஆர் டெல்லிங் தேர் ஆர் மோர் தென் டுவெண்ட்டி தௌசண்ட் ஸ்பீசிஸ் ஆஃப் ஆண்ட் எறும்பிலேயே இருபதாயிரம் ஸ்பீசிஸ் இருக்குன்னு சொல்றாங்க கண்டிப்பா பண்றேன் எல்லா சாப்டரும் கண்டிப்பா பண்றேன் வரி பண்ணாதீங்க ஓகே சோ த்ரீ லேக் ஸ்பீசிஸ் ஆஃப் பீட்டல்ஸ் இருக்கான் டுவெண்ட்டி எயிட் தௌசண்ட் ஸ்பீசிஸ் ஆஃப் பிஷஸ் and nearly 20000 species of orchids this they won't ask idu kandipa kekka matanga indha number kekka matanga okay yes because there are so many important things that they can ask from this chapter biodiversity is the term popularized by the socio biologist edward wilson idu kepanga this is important who coined the term biodiversity okay it was used to describe the combined diversity at all levels of biological organization romba romba mukyam okay biological diversity or biodiversity is the difference and the variety between the living organism of all sources id romba theory dhaan pasangala romba theory dhaan okay illa vande na solli neenga purinjikra alavukku perusa onnum illa i can teach you how to remember these things okay i think all of you are back from your break come on pasangala okay narai vidamana ecosystem irukke terrestrial marine okay different different ecosystems are there okay mukkiyama moonu vidamana biodiversity irukke idu romba romba mukkiyamana three mark question okay genetic diversity species diversity ecological diversity ma'am genetic diversity na enna ma'am okay a single species might show high diversity at the genetic level over its distribution na solra simple ah solra inga paarenga nama india la iruka humans ku australia la iruka humans ku evlo difference irukku aama va illaya do you all agree adhe mari india la iruka avangalukku africa la iruka avangalukku evlo vithyasam irukku 
there's a lot of difference cultural okay physical appearance la evlo vyathasam irukku andha vyathasam la ye varudhu nam ellarum ore species thana nam ellarum homo sapiens thana why are we all different because of the genes that's very very important adha da nama genetic diversity nu solrom so inga kuduthiruka example enna na raulfia omitoria enna solranga raulfia omitoria ellaru idha chat section la podunga it is growing in different himalayan ranges okay so or high peak la valarum bodu adoda content adhigama irukum enna content pasangala rasarpin okay reserpin reserpin okay so reserpin content adha adhigama irukum adha innor edathla valarum bodu the reserpin contact is less content is less what does this mean this means that you are genetically diverse okay india la mattrome you have around 50000 genetically different strains of rice 50000 rice variety iruka okay in the number na bochukom in the number na bochukom okay so you have nama tamil nadu la ethaniyo arisi irukku correct ah ponni arisi steam arisi idli arisi ekka chakamana rice irukku okay very 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 important and you have 1000 varieties of mango okay tamil nadu la mango season start aircha have they started selling mangoes okay so there are thousand varieties of mango alfonso malpova etteniyo vidamana mangoes irukku adha da nama genetic diversity nu solrom romba romba mukkiyamana vishayam species diversity the diversity at the species level okay i think all of you know about india correct so here we have our western ghats here we have our eastern ghats correct ah so western ghats la amphibian species adhigama irukum okay here the amphibian species is more here the amphibian species is less adha da nama species diversity nu solrom kadesiya ecological diversity see ecosystem e vera ipo dubai eduthitingna adu or desert okay so india eduthitingna india la ekka chakamana ecosystem irukku desert irukku unga thar desert irukku himalayas irukku okay unga mountains irukku western ghats eastern ghats irukku deccan plateau irukku adhana adha nam india subcontinent nu solrom ellame irukku coastal plains irukku ekka chakamana geographical regions irukku okay so in every geographical region there will be different kinds of plants there will be different kinds of animals adha da nama inga solittu varom okay at the ecosystem level india for instance it has deserts rainforests mangroves okay coral reefs wetland estuaries and alpine meadows okay it has a great ecosystem diversity so nama india la norway oda ecosystem diversity adhigama irukku okay so genetic diversity na it is a diversity at the genetic level ஓகே இப்போ மேங்கோஸ் வச்சுக்கிட்டீங்கன்னா எக்கச்சக்க விதமான மேங்கோஸ் இருக்கு ஏன் அப்படி வேற வேற விதமான மேங்கோஸ் இருக்கு பிகாஸ் தே ஆல் டிஃபர் அட் த ஜெனடிக் லெவல் டிஎன்ஏ லெவல் ஓகே இட்ஸ் சம்திங் டு டூ ஹியர் வித் டிஎன்ஏ வேரியேஷன் இன் டிஎன்ஏ அதுதான் இங்க பிளே பண்ணுது ஓகே வேரியேஷன் இன் டிஎன்ஏ இப்ப புரிஞ்சதா இப்ப புரிஞ்சதா டாக்டர் எம் இஸ் திஸ் கிளியர் ஓகே ஸோ இதுதான் பசங்களா I wanted to show you. Parang, India la matro me, yuvlo vidamara idha. Koncha thay naala accumulate panna me dhanjudhu. You have so many different kinds. Okay. Nama Tamil Nadu la Neelam, Malgova, Sindhura, indha maari naraya, naraya vidamana mango varieties irukku. Okay. This species diversity. Parang, or kaattu kula poni inga na. Yara chum forest expedition panni irukki ingla. Have you guys been into a forest? Now, safari park solala or forest kula trekking mari yaraach poi irukkingla anybody okay you see so many so many beautiful species okay this is species diversity yes so this is what you people were confused with correct ah ma'am evlo million species irukku enna irukku adala clear ah paathiralam text da konja bore adikum but ketu da aganum ena nama exam eladanum correct ah so according to iucn what is iucn international union for conservation of nature and natural resources iucn na enna pasangala international union for conservation of nature and natural resources so avanga 2004 la enna solirukanga na the total number of plants and animal species described so far is slightly more than 1.5 million okay innikku varaikum ethana species describe pannirukanga 1.5 million ellaru 1.5 million in chat la podunga all of you be quick okay but we have no clear idea of how many species are yet to be discovered namalku inno and idea illa inna evlo species discover panna padanonu indra idea namalku kedaiyadu 
okay estimates vary widely and many of them are only educated guesses so summa vandu guess panna mudiyadhu educated people in the biodiversity padichit vara people da they are they can talk about this i and you cannot talk about this people who talk who know biodiversity they have told that there are still so many species that are yet to be discovered okay so for many taxonomic group species inventories are more complete in temperate than in tropical so temperate la temperate la usually species kammiya irukum temperate region la so adunala enna solranga na temperate region la adu nariya namakku theriyudhu enna enna species irukku na tropical region la inno nama vande inno nama vande we are at to we are at to uh in a sort of the discover okay considering that an overwhelming large proportion of the species is waiting to be discovered are in the tropics enga irukanga pasangala tropical region la irukanga biologists make a statistical comparison of the temperate and tropical species richness of an exhaustively studied group of insects and extrapolate this ratio to other group of animal and plant to come up with a gross estimation so enna solranga na simple there are some extreme estimates that range from 20 to 50 million enna solranga na inna 20 la rendu 50 million species kandupidikano nu solli or extreme ana number kudukranga ana oru ther varara nammalla save panna yaar avaru robert may yaar avaru robert may ellaru chat section la podunga avaru enna solranga na nammaloda global species diversity 7 million nu solraru what is he telling extrapolate means understand to just draw a conclusion that is what we call extrapolate okay yes it's better you write it's better you write as per the book you follow ncert okay ncert is best okay ellar podunga robert may 7 million idu kepanga idu sure ah kepanga idu idu mattrum da idla mukyam idella thevai illa these are all not needed you have to remember this 7 million and you have to read this clear robert may matter marandrave marandradinga 7 million species global diversity okay adutha vishayathuk pogalam yes more than 70% of all the species recorded are animals okay ipo varaikum nama and 1.5 million species irukla and 1.5 million species la 70% are recorded as animals okay while plants comprise 22% Ma'am, idu na abhi achhu krama. Better, better if you remember. Okay. Among animals, insects are the most species-rich taxonomic group. Okay. So the animals, like the eleven percent animals, told rangala. Adal like insects are the most rich. So idha told rangana. Seventy percent of the total. Okay. Seventy percent, hundred percent animals, like eleven percent are insects. Abhi na idha. Patti la, yele animals are insects. see that is why we call arthropods as the largest phylum in the animal kingdom okay so out of every 10 animals on this planet seven are insects so insects are the most successful one namala onnume kedaiyadu avanga munnadi ella correct ah so 10 10 animals la yel animals seven animals are insects okay yes robert may was a very good biologist he made an educated guess and still today we follow robert may only okay purinjala pasangala so which is the most abundant one insects adha naam vechukonga okay the number of fungi species in the world is more than the combined total species this is also important okay idume idume romba mukyam the the number of fungi species in the world is more than the combined total species of fishes amphibian reptiles and mammals so or scale irukku or weighing scale irukku ஒரு பக்கம் நம்ம பிஷஸ் ஆம்பிபியன் ரெப்டைல்ஸ் அண்ட் மேமல்ஸ் வச்சு இன்னொரு பக்கம் ஃபங்கை வச்சோம்னா த ஃபங்கை ஸ்பீசிஸ் இஸ் மோர் புரியுதா ஃபங்கை ஸ்பீசிஸ் அதிகமா இருக்கு ட்ரை டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் திஸ் ஓகே இட்ஸ் ஆல் ஃபியர் இதுல வந்து நான் வந்து உங்களுக்கு ஹெல்ப் பண்றேன் எப்படி ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கிறதுன்னு ஓகே சோ ரிமெம்பர் திஸ் அண்ட் ரிமெம்பர் திஸ் ஓகே அடுத்த விஷயம் இந்த கிராஃப் இந்த பை சார்ட் ரொம்ப 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 முக்கியம் ஓகே five lesson illa moonay lesson last lesson this is okay yes so you can see invertebrates vertebrates and plants so invertebrates la yaar pa highest insects okay aduk adutha yaar pa mollusca aduk adutha crustacean then you have other group of animals romba 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 mukkiyamana vishayam vertebrates la who is the most successful fishes 
So, fishes are a population the adhiga mark. I think other karta the birds, other karta the reptiles. Okay, then you have amphibians, then you have mammals. Okay, yes, that's very, very important. Adhita the plants. Plants le na pa, fung, actually fungi doesn't belong to plant, but they have given in your textbook. Okay, so fungi is more. In, in the book of Pathina, angiosperm are the most successful one. And your sperm the adhigama arka population le. So, in the mari pie charts, kandipa kandipa on exam la kekalam. Okay, can we continue? Yes. Let's talk about India. Biodiversity in India. Okay, either umba mukyam. This is all very very important. Crustaceans are crab, uh, prawn. That is what we call it as crustaceans. Okay, all those who have a calcareous shell. Yes, although India has only... 2.4% of the world's land area. This is geography. Okay. So, 2.4% area is India. Over the 100% of the land, we just have 2.4% of the land. Okay. And it shares the global species diversity of 8.1%. So, 8.1% is global species diversity. GSD. Rumbo mukyo. Okay, that is what in your tea, no? ah, that is what makes our country one of the 12 mega diversity countries in the world. Olagatla, Pannand mega diversity country, Adala, India or a country. India is one of the country. Okay, very, very, very important. Nearly 45,000. Okay, textbook edith, mark pannenge. Okay, so nearly 45,000 45, species of plants and twice as many animals. So, 45,000 plants na 90,000 animals have been recorded from India. In Nikavarkyum. Okay, so how many living species are actually there waiting to be discovered and named? Yo singer. Okay, according to May, what is the global species diversity? It, it, it actually tells that 22% of the total species have been recorded so far. So, our end is on our million. So, our million is 22% of the record. Okay, that's why we are going to go to India. We are going to plant species discover panna padanom. Okay, and more than 3 lakh animal species are yet to be discovered. You are interesting. Okay, we are going to do it. We are going to do Man is superior. Man is super power. But he has not yet discovered 1 lakh plant species. And he has not discovered 3 lakh plant species. Okay, is it clear? I know about this chapter. I know students' mindset. Okay, that is why I told that. Okay, you don't have options. You don't have options. So, you have to read. Okay. So, we are yet to discover these two. Okay. Arthe Vishyam Paklam. Why is this biodiversity varying? Yeh vandhu oro redathni biodiversity maari te irukku. There is something very interesting. It is, go back to your 8th, 9th geography. Okay. So, it is all arthe na. So, you know equator. Correct. This is your equator. Then you have your Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, then you have your zones, okay, polar regions. So, at the equator, at the equator, always remember, you get direct sunlight, okay, you get direct sunlight. So, the biodiversity, biodiversity is high at the equator, okay. As you go away from the equator, the biodiversity decreases, okay. So, these are our tropics. Our tropics are the This is our temperate. So, temperate is the same. This is our polar region. Polar region is the same. Okay? That's what I am trying to. That's what I am trying to help you. Okay? Yes. So, if you are going to talk about this, Okay. In general, species diversity decreases as we move away from the equator. Okay, with very few exceptions, the tropics, okay, tropics, tropic of Cancer, tropic of Capricorn, okay, harbor more species than the temperate or polar. So, in the region, there species in Okay, ma'am, in the number, you don't have to remember all these numbers. Okay, include the one in the red book also because they aren't extinct. Uh, they, like, aren't they extinct? Which species are you talking about? Can you tell me? 
I, I didn't get which species you are talking about. Okay. Colombia, it's located near the equator. In the Colombia is a place where the equator is located. Okay, it has nearly 1400 species of birds. Ma'am, in the number and abo achkunama kevel concept of Punjapong. Okay, while New York at 41 degree north has 105 species and Greenland at 71 degree north has 56 species. So, here, here you see 1400. Okay, here you see 105. Okay, here you see only 56. So, it will work in What do you understand? What do you understand, Pasangla? As you go away from the equator, the species diversity is decreasing. Simple. Okay. India, with much of its land area in the tropical latitude, we stay, we stay in the tropics. Okay. Tropic of Cancer passes through Gujarat. Okay. Has more than 1200 species of birds. A forest in a tropical region like equator has up to 10 times as many species of vascular plants as a forest of equal area in a temperate region like Midwest of USA. So, in the equator, it is present in your tropical region. USA is present in a temperate region. So, in the equator, the vascular plants is 10 times more than that of this. Okay? Rombo, rombo mukhyam. In the number, point as we go away from the equator, the species diversity decreases. Okay, can, can, can you uh, tell me if this is clear? The animals and plants that are recorded so far. Yes, everything will be in the red data book. Okay, red data book, it's not just for extinct. Okay, they will also have a list of organisms which have been discovered till date. Okay, they are threatened, vulnerable, and the mari narayarke. Okay, yes. So we shall continue. Amazon. Amazon forest. So Amazon and one etana fair ka Amazon app na go on the chi. Now, as soon as I tell, be honest, be honest. Na Amazon and Ipasona la etana fair ka Amazon app na go on the chi. Amazon website na go on the chi. Right? Many of us would have remembered. So we are more and more into all this, right? We forgot the biggest forest, okay? It is the most, most important. Yes, Kandipa, Illarakum, Enakop, Dida, Ipokuna, Amazon, and Pata, oh, Amazon, and the mind strike. So, we are more into this, correct? Yes. So, it is a largely tropical Amazonian rainforest in South America. It has the greatest biodiversity on earth. Okay, it is a home to more than, I saw this in some text, some paper, okay. Uh, this is a case-based question, le. okay. So, it's better you remember these numbers, okay. It is a home to more than 40,000 species of plants, 3,000 species of fishes, 1,300 birds, 427 mammals, 427 amphibians, 378 reptiles, and 1,25,000 invertebrates. I pity you, Pasanga. You have to remember so many numbers. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Scientists estimate that these rainforests, there might be at least 2 million insect species yet to be discovered. Yoste paranga. Yoste 2 million insect species are yet to be discovered here. So, imagine. Imagine how big it is. What is the biodiversity there? Just imagine. Okay. So, this entire thing is the Amazon Basin. Okay. Yes. Speciation. Speciation na inna. Speciation na inna. It is a formation of. Formation of new species. Okay. Speciation is generally a function of time. If you have a species, you have a lot of time. Okay. Unlike. Temperate region subjected to frequent glaciation. Temperate region la adi kadi ice kati form agom. Correct? Ha? There are more of glaciers that are formed. Okay? In the past tropical latitude, they have remained relatively undisturbed for millions of years. Had a long evolutionary time for species diver diversification. Simple hai na solrang na. Temperate region la species diverse, species age, speciation on the rumba slow war kon irk. Okay? Yes, correct, correct. But you guys have to remember, time is less, but now you have to exam, you have to go to the Tropical environment, unlike temperate one, are less seasonal, relatively more constant and predictable. Such environment promote niche specialization. Niche is the place where an organism lives. 
okay and lead to greater species diversity romba simple tropical la ivlo kadala neenga nabu vachukka venda ore or line nabu vachukonga temperate la speciation koraivu tropical la speciation adhigam that's it all of you put it in the chat section temperate less speciation tropical more speciation that's it that's it okay can we continue solar energy so there is more solar energy yen pa ye in the difference nadakkudhu there is more solar energy that is available in the tropics right so which contribute to higher productivity adhigamana productivity varum okay so as i already told you on the equator the sunlight flows directly okay so this in turn might contribute indirectly to greater diversity simple okay adutha vishayam species area relationship idha neenga kandipa kandipa padichu aaganum okay it's very 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 important what is this species area relationship okay romba simple pasangala or adhe adhe or room example da solra or 10 to 20 square feet eduthukonga or 200 square feet room la etana per irukka mudiyum moonu per naalu per correct ah adhe or periya eda irundhuchna many people can live the same thing is here as the area increases as the area increases the number of species increases okay that is what is the entire idea about this. hi hi okay so during pioneering and extensive exploration in the wilderness of south american jungle the german naturalist alexander von so ever vand enga ponaaru south american jungles poi explore pannaar okay alexander von okay he showed that a region within a region the species richness increased with increasing explored area as the area increased okay the species richness increased okay but only up to a limit it increased only up to a limit okay so in fact the relation between species richness and area for a wide variety of taxa turns to be a rectangular hyperbola idu da namak mukhyamana vishayam what is the shape of the graph pasanga it is a rectangular rectangular hyperbola okay this is the shape ipdi da varum shape okay let's try to understand idhula kandipa questions kepaanga idhu rendu log scale so inge log potu inge log potingna you get this okay s is equal to ca idhu ca to the power z adu two kedaiyadu it is ca to the power of z limit because they don't want to explore more okay more the area and the evlo capacity irko and the capacity varikum da adu vandu valarum okay yes kandipa kandipa podrem ellame mix panni sure ah podre okay yes thank you thank you for the input if you take it on a log scale it is log s is equal to log c plus z log a but long answers poda mudiyadhu short answers kandipa podu okay yes this is very important pasangala note down panikonga yes this species richness a is area z is slope of the line and y c is your y intercept okay taxa is a group of organism ipo kingdom endradhu or taxa okay phylum endradhu or taxa adha than taxa taxa or taxon we call it as okay yes shall we continue shall we continue the purinjada ellarkume yes yeah now let's talk about this z this value of z z na enna pa it is a slope of the line correct ah this z this is important it lies in the range of 0.1 to 0.2 regardless of the ecosystem regardless of the diversity okay so it is the same whether it is a plants in the britain or birds in the california or mollusks in the new york state the slope of the regression line are amazingly similar okay Oh, okay, okay, fine. Paaklaam, paaklaam. Well, the important chapters are done. Then we will do that. Okay, yes. Maybe day after tomorrow we can do that. Stable community. Stable community. Now, in a community which do not show any variation in productivity from year to year. Or a M R I K. Okay, growth is not. Varsha varsha or a samla vang vangala. That is stable. Okay, there are not. There they are neither growing or they are neither getting down. okay it must be resistant or resilient to occasional disturbances and it must also be resistant to invasion by alien species okay yes 
நீட் சேனல்ல ஆல்ரெடி முடிச்சாச்சு பிளான்ட் பிசியாலஜி போட்டோசிந்தசிஸ் பிளான்ட் க்ரோத் எல்லாமே முடிச்சாச்சு நீங்க போய் செக் பண்ணுங்க லைன் பை லைன் மட்டும் பண்ணணும் போட்டோசிந்தசிஸ் முடிச்சாச்சு இதுக்கும் முடிச்சாச்சு பிளான்ட் க்ரோத் அண்ட் டெவலப்மெண்ட்டுக்கு முடிச்சாச்சு ரெஸ்பிரேஷன் மட்டும் பண்ணணும் என்சிஆர்டி லைன் பை லைன் வாட் டூ மீன் பை ஏலியன் ஸ்பீசிஸ் எனி ஒன் எனி ஒன் யாராவது சொல்றீங்களா ஃபாரின் ஸ்பீசிஸ் அவ்வளோதான் okay they are not belonging to that that is what we call it as foreign okay yes loss of biodiversity we are coming to the end of the chapter okay end of the unit loss of biodiversity and biodiversity conservation what to understand by loss pasangla in in loss na enna solrom biodiversity kammi aite varudhu the number of species are becoming very 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 less okay so the colonization of tropical pacific island by humans is said to have led to the extinction of more than 2000 species of native birds yoschu paarenga pasangala species outside the community super super okay enna nadakkudhu nama eppo nama human beings poi in the pacific island la poi vaala aarambichaangalo appathla irundhu 2000 species of native birds have decreased okay and you have this iucn international union for council of so international union for conservation of natural resources okay they have a red list so ma'am red list na enna ma'am idha pathi textbook la vera engiyume pesla pasangala inga or edathla dhaan pesirukanga so what is red list it consists of all the organisms which are extinct all the organisms which are going to be extinct okay that's very 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 important so ethana organism extinct a irukanga 784 species okay including 338 vertebrates and 359 invertebrates and 87 plants in the last 500 years it is such a such a sad sad situation okay kandipa extinct aagum ella species um extinct aavaanga but the rate of extinction is more dinosaurs were extinct aanaanga appo vandu human beings kedaiyadu ipo extinction nadakkudhu but now the rate of extinction is increasing terribly that's what i wanted to tell you okay some examples of recent extinction idu rombo 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 mukyam mcqs okay you have dodo dodo enga extinct aachi mauritius then you have quagga africa thylacine australia stella sea cow russia okay and subs and your uh, three sub species of your tiger bali javan and caspian okay the last 20 years alone we have witnessed the disappearance of 27 species okay last 20 varshathla 27 species vande extinct a irukku extinct na enna ma'am extinct na they are no more on this earth they are no more on this earth red list yes super super innor mukhyamana vishayam india la recent i think or 2 varshathukku munnadi ore ore one horned rhinoceros irundhuchu okay adu vande zoo la vechirundanga that also even died okay so there are so many species which are getting extinct okay recent it's because of human beings okay adding to the grim scenario of extinction is the fact that more than 15500 species worldwide are facing the threat of extinction they can become extinct any time ma'am in the number na vachikkanum na no need no need okay presently 12% of all bird species try to understand this pasangala try to relate it okay ninga exam elidittu mudichittu pora vishayam kedaiyadhu indha oru vishayam na biodiversity appadi solala loss of biodiversity you all should think okay why red list to maintain and data to maintain and data appo eppadi theriyum namalukku endha species extinct a irukke endha species um, endemic a irukke endha species vandu red list la irukke we need to know okay 23% of all mammals 32% of all amphibian and 31% of all gymnosperm species in the world are facing the threat of extinction okay yosthu paarenga romba romba nyayama yosthu paarenga selfish ah venda inda ulaga vandu ellarkume correct ah is it only for human beings no this world is for all of them okay but all these species are facing extinction okay is this this is from your ncrt i'm not sure whether it is new or old okay this is i took from ncrt only okay maybe konjo updation aayirukalam okay ipo 2024 ku vandato so konjo updation aayirukalam okay yes i hope this is clear okay yeah what is the loss of biodiversity id edukku pa nama ipo ivlo important ah pesuren enna aago biodiversity ipdi loss aayite irundha okay it results in decline in plant production kadaisila saapad illama irupom pasangala nama ella lower resistance to environmental perturbations such as drought and flood 
இந்தியால எடுத்துக்கோங்க அவங்க சென்னையில எடுத்துக்கோங்க ஏன் இவ்வளவு சைக்ளோன்ஸ் வருது ஏன் அன்டைம்லி ரெயின்ஸ் வருது ஏன் மலையே வராம இருக்கு வை பிகாஸ் வி ஆர் டிஸ்டர்பிங் த பயோடைவர்சிட்டி பசங்களா okay we are doing we are disturbing the biodiversity okay increased variability in ecosystem processes such as productivity water use pest and disease cycle nariya changes irukku okay na 10 varshathukku munadi paatha or india or biodiversity ipo kedaiyadhu pasanga it is not there it is not at all there we have lost it industrialization urbanization ekkachakamana vishayam panni we are losing it ஓகே நிறைய சிட்டிஸ்ல நிறைய சிட்டிஸ்ல லேக்ஸ் இருக்கும் லேக்ஸ வந்து ஃபுல்லா கவர் பண்ணி அதுக்கு மேல அபார்ட்மெண்ட் கட்டி விக்கிறாங்க கரெக்டா இட்ஸ் அர்பனைசேஷன் பியூர் அர்பனைசேஷன் பியூர் மானிட்டைசேஷன் ஓகே வி ஆர் ஆல் ரன்னிங் பிஹைண்ட் மணி எவ்ரி ஒன் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஃபார் தட் மேட்டர் ரைட் வி ஆர் ஃபர்கெட்டிங் அவர் நேச்சர் ஓகே எஸ் அடுத்த விஷயத்துக்கு போகலாம் எஸ் வாட் ஆர் த காசஸ் ஃபார் பயோடைவர்சிட்டி லாஸ் நாலு காசு இருக்கு habitat loss and fragmentation over exploitation alien species invasion okay alien species invasion and co extinction okay idha vandu nama evil quadrant nu solrom enna solrom pasangala evil quadrant quadrant na enna naal evil na enna bad four important reasons for biodiversity loss this is very very important okay naal maal இல்ல மூணு மார்க் ஆர் இஃப் யூ ஆர் வெரி லக்கி யூ கேன் கெட் அ 5 மார்க் क्वेश्चन ஓகே லெட்ஸ் கெட் இன் டு இட் லெட்ஸ் கெட் இன் டு தி மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் திங் பசங்களா திஸ் இஸ் அமேசான் திஸ் இஸ் a very very small part of your amazon okay you can see here habitat is destroyed they are destroying this particular habitat okay and this habitat they are using this for agriculture இது வந்து agriculture க்கு யூஸ் பண்றாங்க okay but this has caused fragmentation இந்த ரெண்டு ஃபாரஸ்டையும் அது வந்து பிரிச்சிருச்சு இந்த ஒரு இந்த ஒரு இது கரெக்டா ஸோ அப்ப என்ன ஸ்பீசிஸ் இன்டராக்ஷன் பிட்வீன் தீஸ் டூ வில் டிக்ரீஸ் தே வில் டிக்ரீஸ் ஓகே த மோஸ்ட் டிராமேட்டிக் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபார் ஹேபிடைட் லாஸ் கம்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த ட்ராபிக்கல் ரெயின் ஃபாரஸ்ட் ஓகே ஒன்ஸ் கவரிங் மோர் தென் ஃபோர்டீன் பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் த அர்த்ஸ் லேண்ட் சர்ஃபேஸ் எஸ் அமேசான் இஸ் அ ரெயின் ஃபாரஸ்ட் அமேசான் ரிவர் இருக்கு அதை சுத்தி யூ ஹாவ் ரெயின் ஃபாரஸ்ட் okay yes good morning good morning okay besides the loss enna solranga na 14% in the forest cover inniki 6% ta maari irukku okay it has decreased to 6% ipo irukka data pathina inno koraava irukum okay so besides the loss the degradation of many habitats by pollution also threatens the survival of many species okay where large habitats are broken up into small fragments it is going to affect a lot of organisms romba romba affect panna pasangala it is going to affect a lot yes yes very good very good yes so if amazon forest vand adiyu vand commercialize panni angiyo poi agriculture panni angi agriculture yaarukaga pandranga nama manushangalukaga dana pandranga so who is responsible man is responsible okay yes over exploitation when need becomes greed correct ah oru kaalathla namalku need ah irundhathu ipo greed aayiruchu we are all becoming greedy right many species extinction in the last 500 years were due to over exploitation by humans humans are the direct reason okay presently many marine fish population around the world are over harvested okay endangering the continued extinction of some commercially important species etna pes theriyum theriyala tamil nadu la i have heard this news la la paathirken okay oru sila maadangal illa oru sila naatkal vandu they will not allow the fishermen to go for fishing okay varshathla or rendu vaati ipdi pannuvaanga ye ma'am ipdi pandranga na they give some breathing space to the fishes neenga fishes vandu eduthittu vandu eduthittu vandu vittute irundinga na andha fishes eppadi thirupi valarum how will they actually grow back how will they again breed so we give them a breeding season how many of you are aware of this okay and the time la vand fishermen are not supposed to go into the seas for fishing okay they give them some time for breeding okay that's very very important so you have this uh, cutting of trees okay we have all this fancy teak wood uh, doors okay there ekka chakamana fancy things irukke we are all getting it from nature yes yes no it's the bad weather is different bad weather is different oh in kerala also it is the same bad weather and muttrilum vera okay adu appa allow panna maatanga idha thavara in the or certain times la allow panna maatanga 
அது எப்போ அந்த ப்ரீடிங் சீசன் எப்போ பெட்டராக இருக்கோ அட் தட் டைம் தே டூ நாட் அலு ஓகே எஸ் ஷால் வி கண்டினியூ கேரளாலையும் அப்படி தானா நைஸ் நைஸ் ஓகே சி ஏலியன் ஸ்பீசிஸ் இன்வேஷன் மூணாவது விஷயம் த நைல் பர்ச் இது ஒரு இது ஒரு ஃபிஷ் ஓகே வென் இட் வாஸ் இன்ட்ரடியூஸ்ட் இன் லேக் விக்டோரியா இது கேஸ் ஸ்டடியில கொடுக்கலாம் ஓகே அண்ட் லெட் இவென்ஷுவலி டு த எக்ஸ்டிங்ஷன் ஆஃப் எக்காலஜிக்கலி யூனிக் அசம்பிளேஜ் ஆஃப் மோர் தென் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் ஸ்பீசிஸ் ஆஃப் கை சைல்ட் ஃபிஷ் ஓகே What happened? No. Alien species. In the Nile perch, there is an alien species. Okay? And the alien species are the vidra anga thanni guva in the Lake Victoria la, because they want to culture it and they want to get money. Okay? So, this led to the extinction of 200 species of the kai child fish. This is important. This is very, very important. Okay? And the recent illegal introduction of the African catfish, the clarius, for aquaculture purpose is posing a threat to the indigenous catfishes okay so in the catfish vandu nariya per enna pandranga aquaculture pandranga okay so which is which can be grown in ponds and rivers okay so when they are culturing this it is posing a danger to the indigenous variety and the tannikula irukka catfishes ku they are basically basically posing a enna uh, solradhu danger yes natural enemies absolutely இதுல இருந்து கண்டிப்பா கண்டிப்பா கொஸ்டின் கேட்கலாம் ஏலியன் ஸ்பீசிஸ் இன்வேஷன் நைல் பர்ச் ஆல் தீஸ் ஆர் ஃப்ரம் யுவர் என்சிஆர்டி ஐ ஆம் நாட் கிவிங் எனி ஓன் எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் எல்லாமே என்சிஆர்டில இருந்து தான் கொடுத்துருக்கேன் ஓகே அடுத்த விஷயம் பார்க்கலாம் கோ எக்ஸ்டிங்ஷன் இது ரொம்ப ஈஸி கோ எக்ஸ்டிங்ஷன்னா என்ன ஒரு ஸ்பீசிஸோட பாப்புலேஷன் குறைஞ்சிட்டே வந்தா இன்னொரு ஸ்பீசிஸோட பாப்புலேஷனும் குறைஞ்சிட்டே வரும் இப்போ ப்ரேவோட பாப்புலேஷன் குறைஞ்சிட்டே வந்தா ப்ரிடேட்டரோட பாப்புலேஷன் குறைஞ்சிட்டே வரும் okay if the population of the bird decreases the population of the plant also decreases simple simple okay so when a species becomes extinct the plant and animal species associated with it an obligatory way to become extinct simple okay when a host fish species becomes extinct its unique assemblage for parasite also meets the same same fate rendu perume extinct aiduvaanga okay adutathu anand example in the case of co evolved plant pollinator mutualism this is what i spoke about okay where there is extinction of one invariably leads to the extinction of other okay they are so close okay they, they are so close if the one population decreases the other population also decreases simple okay why do we need to conserve biodiversity another 15 minutes we will cover the chapter why do we need to conserve biodiversity yes tell me what's your doubt okay ye vandha na biodiversity conserve pananum narrow and broad reasons irukku okay so we have this on uh, it provides food it provides cereals pulses fruits as well as fiber building material idellame produce pannum koranja mattum rest all will come back see i'm not talking about uh human population to decrease okay so i'm just telling human population need to take care of nature that's it okay now human population increase avradnala idella avudun na solala humans are using things in a very greedy way that's it that's what i'm i'm trying to tell you okay yes yeah so natural products are used in the manufacture of industrial products tannins dyes lubricant idu kuda kekkalam If you are very lucky, this is a very theory-based question. Medicinal value, you have ashwagandha, there are many medicinal values. You have homeopathy, Ayurveda, medicinal value, this is what you use. In the word, it's very important. Bio-prospecting. Okay, it's the process of investigating genetics as well as species-level diversity in order to obtain and develop economically significant products. Look, how are you doing? what are we doing pasangla we are trying to analyze every for every nook and corner of the forest okay and the human ke eppadi benefit kedaikudhu nu use panni we are trying to exploit them that is what we are doing so bio prospecting important to mark textbook eduth mark panikonga bio prospecting is very very important broad utilitarian ipo da na sonna photosynthesis okay aesthetic light this i agree idu na kandipa agree pandren romba stress ah irundha romba tension ah irundha if you go to a hilly station if you go to a place where there is lot of trees and plants the green the greenery is going to give you some calmness it's going to give you some peace that i agree it gives you an aesthetic delight we derive from biodiversity conservation okay yes yes sure sure we all live a lavish life including me right we all live a la- life okay taking their life that's it 
ஓகே எத்திக்கல் கன்சிடரேஷன் வி ஆல் ஹாவ் டு பி எத்திக்கல் ஓகே எனக்கு இன்னும் ஞாபகம் இருக்கு நாங்க டுவெல்த் படிச்சுட்டு இருக்கும் போதுன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ரைட்ஃபுல் இன்ஹெரிட்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் அர்த்ன்னு சொல்லி ஒரு இங்கிலீஷ் சாப்டர் இருந்துச்சு ஓகே ஸோ அதுல என்ன என்ன எனக்கு புரிஞ்சதுனா நம்மள மாதிரி தான் அவங்களும் இந்த 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 உலகத்துல இருக்காங்க right just like how i just because i own a land just because i own a building it doesn't mean it's mine okay everyone have their right everyone in the sense all organism have their right okay yes so human rely on existence of all other organism adoda mukhyamana vishayam nam ellarume avangala depend pani da irukum okay avangala vande if we destroy then human population will also decline at one or the other point of time okay இல்ல இல்ல கண்டிப்பா இல்ல இந்த சாப்டர் வந்தா கொஞ்சம் அப்படி ஆயிரும் எஸ் ஈச் ஸ்பீசிஸ் அண்ட் வெரைட்டி ஹேஸ் இன்ஹெரண்ட் வேல்யூ இட் இஸ் அர் மாரல் ஆப்ளிகேஷன் டு ப்ரொடெக்ட் அண்ட் டிரான்ஸ்பர் ஆன் த பயாலஜிக்கல் லெகசி தட் ஹாஸ் பீன் பீஸ்டர்ட் அப்ஆன் அஸ் ஓகே எஸ் நவ் வி வில் மூவ் ஆன் டு ஹாட் ஸ்பாட்ஸ் ரொம்ப 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 முக்கியமான விஷயம் எஸ் ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் ஜோன்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃப்ரம் எக்ஸாம் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் வியூ with high concentration of biodiversity it's also known as mega diversity appe paathala 12 mega diversity ne okay these are the most vulnerable zone vulnerable na enna so inga da human human affection romba irukku okay they keep on coming here for poaching for cutting trees everything they do the do, do here okay so the following four factors influences ecological hotspot important two mark question the number of species or the diversity of species endemism level endemism na enna what do you guys understand by endemism please do let me know the level to which a specific habitat is threatened as a result of degradation and fragmentation amount of exploitation okay recently very recently maybe 6 years back i think all of you know western ghats correct western ghats was added was added to the hotspots okay just 6 months back 6 years back okay so endemism na enna pa what is endemism the number of organism which are endemic which are localized okay local local species in solana okay if a penguin penguin is endemic to polar regions okay that's what we call it as endemic adhe mari western ghats you adhe mari nariya nariya endemic species irundichi okay native native species very good so the place where you actually belong is called endemic okay yes how many biodiversity hotspot is there mayers first detected 12 hotspots okay with 14% of plant species in a 0.2% area okay today innikku vande 34 hotspots irukke okay that covers less than 2% of the land surface and are home to approximately 20% of the human population this is this is so very so very important very 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 important the indo burma region the himalayas and western ghats and sri lanka all these three belongs to biodiversity hotspots of india okay indo burma region that you have this west bengal and the region sundarbans that is one thing okay the himalayan and western ghats and finally the sri lanka that's it that's it okay yes idu romba mukhyamana vishayam pasangala ipo conservation of biodiversity coming to the end of the chapter okay you have in situ conservation and ex situ conservation okay kandipa kandipa pandrom kandipa innikku mudinja week wise pannalam okay yes so in situ conservation na enna to protect the threatened species the entire ecosystem and also its biodiversity must be conserved and protected at all level in situ na avanga edathile avanga edathile poi nam avangala protect pandrom adha da in situ conservation okay however it is neither economically feasible nor feasible to preserve all current biological wealth and ecosystem kandipa ipo inga pesumoda nama kandipa anand ambani patti pesunom correct ah he has created a whole new forest i saw a video and i was surprised eppadi pa ivulukala ivlo yosikka mudiyudhu so they have a separate radiology center for elephants okay they have a separate x-ray centers for elephants okay elephants matra illanga ekkachakamana animals irukke okay so ulagathla endha animal ah kashtapattu irundha they go and give it to vantara in jamnagar right yes in situ and ex situ sure shot you will get sure shot question okay so in situ na enna they are protected in their own area in situ la modala varadhu protected areas okay they are ecological or biogeographical areas where biodiversity as well as natural and cultural resources are secured they are maintained and handled through legal or other effective measures okay 
வெஸ்டர்ன் காட்ஸ் டிரான்ஸ் ஹிமாலயாஸ் அப்புறம் இண்டோ பர்மா ரீஜன் இண்டோ பர்மா ரீஜன் தட் இஸ் யோர் அந்த இந்த ரீஜன் வெஸ்ட் பெங்கால் அந்த ரீஜன் இண்டோ பர்மா ரீஜன் எஸ் ஓகே தே ஆர் டிஃபைன்ட் ஆஸ் and delimited by biological diversity so you have your adha vandu nama idu idu vandu desert idu vandu idu apdi ella nama vandu solradilla ellathiyume nama conserve pananum okay Diver, desert in tar wetland in assam saline swampy area in the sundarban and so on so you have national park hello hello you have national park sanctuaries biosphere reserve are the examples of protected area unga oorla irukka national park la sanctuary per solringa have you guys ever visited a national park or sanctuary what is a national park there are regions under government management government is taking care of all these okay forest officers are paanga indian forest service in okay so which are set aside for wildlife cultivation enhancement okay human endeavors like forestry grazing and habitat alteration are prohibited inga vandu human activity prohibit pan completely vandu prohibit paniruvaanga they cannot come okay india la 89 national park irukke etana national park irukke 89 okay then you have 1.1% of the land area yes Mudumalai Wildlife Sanctuary, super, super. Currently 106, very good. Thank you for the update. Now on the 106 National Park, irukhe, but according to your NCRT exam, la keta, 89 ne which is the first National Park? Which is the first National Park? Anybody? Anybody? It is Jim Corbett National Park. Okay, I think it's in Assam. I think it's in Assam. Jim Corbett National Park is the first National Park. okay so national park ko sanctuary ko difference kepanga okay they will definitely ask okay there are huge portions of land with or without lakes where wildlife and plants can hide from hunters okay so other human disrupting activities such as collecting forest product harvesting timber personal control of property tilling land and so on are permitted so ipo inga resorts la vekkranga la the munar la andha mari edathla la resort la irukla so private activity is allowed okay yes it is in uttarakhand okay thank you thank you for the update okay nalla da doubt ave irundichi okay jaipur la uttarakhand nu nenikiren jim corbett national park okay yes ended up on the geography side yes even i feel whenever i teach this chapter i feel more like a geography teacher than a bio teacher okay biosphere reserve bio 11 science group is easy easy if you feel it if you love science it is easy if you don't like science it is not easy simple okay yes class 10 geography seriously i feel that especially this one chapter is like that okay biosphere reserves see in the biosphere reserve and romba periya area okay in the biosphere reserve fulla na national park irukke wildlife sanctuary irukke okay and the mari okay they have secured area that are intended to serve multiple function okay they are meant to preserve genetic diversity in constituent ecosystem of diverse natural mass and biological communities okay this is accomplished by safeguarding the wild population tribal inga vanda tribal people you vanda they will consider okay in biosphere reserve the tribal people are also considered and cultured plant and animal natural resource okay the creation of a biosphere reserve began in 1975 1975 as a part of unesco unesco i think all of you know right there are there are a total of 408 biosphere reserve established in 94 country as of 2002 ipo ekka chakamana ekka chakamana importance irukke okay nariya biosphere reserve irukke in india there are 17 biosphere reserve can you name at least one biosphere reserve names kudukala but still can you name one nama tamil nadu la iruka biosphere reserve edu anybody anybody okay you don't have to worry science da romba pidikona teachers kandipa ungalku nalla solli kudupanga neenga super ah padikalam okay yes so i will definitely solve i'll definitely solve okay so you have your nilgiris nilgiris is the entire biosphere reserve okay 14 biosphere reserve 90 national park 448 wildlife sanctuaries irukku okay romba mukkiyamaana vishayam i want to spoke, speak about is sacred groups 
okay which i am very proud about okay ivlo naram ninga ellarum titningle ma'am if okay va ma'am yes sacred groves is something very very interesting we all protect the forest in the name of god in the name of nature in the name of religion okay that's something great correct ah so i will quickly tell you one last story okay so sundarlal bahuguna not the sundarlal bahuguna ama sundarlal bahuguna there was a person he started the chipko movement okay he went he went and hugged the trees when men were supposed to cut the trees okay yes yes agathiyar malai super super neelgiri gulf of mannar very good very good nariya per solittirukinga okay there are many sacred groves in uh, meghalaya aravalli hills western ghats region maharashtra madhya pradesh ingala nariya sacred groves irukke okay so in meghalaya the sacred groves are the last refuges for a large number of rare and threatened plants the last part we are going to do ex situ conservation ex situ conservation means we bring the animals or plants out of their natural environment into a man made environment adha da nama ex situ conservation nu solrom zoological parks botanical garden wildlife safari park they all serve this purpose so zoo la iruka animal alla kashta pattirundha animal avanga health wise avanga correct ah saapadu kedaikama kashta pattirundha animal adha avanga vandu zoos la kondu vandu they take care of them and the people who take care of animals are called curators we call them as curators okay and zo- maintaining zoological parks has become so difficult for the government today because it requires a lot of fund pasangala avangal saapal podradukke nariya kaas theva padum okay so in recent year ex situ conservation has advanced beyond keeping threatened species in enclosure so zoological park botanical garden wildlife safari park coming to the technological advancement cryo preservation this is sure shot okay cryo preservation what is cryo preservation pasangla it is the preserving the organism in liquid nitrogen okay in the nitrogen liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degree celsius romba romba mukyam you can preserve gametes okay you can preserve the uh, you can preserve all this okay seeds i can preserve the eggs i can preserve anything okay any living tissue can be preserved by this method romba 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 mukhyamana vishayam seeds of different genetic strains of commercially important plants can be kept for a long period in seed bank okay seed bank ku vekkalam yes so that's about this entire chapter inna rendu mukhyamana vishayam irukke okay what are we doing what are human beings doing for the loss of biodiversity okay in the year 1992 they held a summit called earth summit okay in a summit the earth summit okay pollen grains everything can be preserved all living tissues can be preserved okay it was held in rio de janeiro capital of brazil okay called upon all the nations to take appropriate measure for conservation of biodiversity and sustainable utilization of its benefits okay idha follow up panni 2002 la 2002 la they had a world summit okay rend 1992 it is earth summit 2002 it is world summit romba romba mukhyamana vishayam okay how can we define sacred groves sacred groves are the places where the trees or the ecosystem is conserved in the name of god or religion apdi vechikalam god ne solalam okay alpha is within the species beta is between two species okay yes yeah so among uh, the 190 countries pledged their commitment to achieve by 2010 a significant reduction in the current rate of biodiversity loss at global regional and local levels romba 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 mukhyamana vishayam okay i have a picture of that summit okay you can see the rio de janeiro ninga naam vechikiradukaga solirken world summit it was in na uh, world summit was in 2002 johannesburg okay this was 1992 clear that's it yeah sacred groove sacred grooves are region or hanga paadu ore nimisham yes so many tracts of forest were set aside and all the trees and life within were venerated and given total protection in by the people living there or in the name of religion or in the name of god we can remember it like that yes super super week wise shortly innikila naale kandipa kandipa we will we will post 
ஓகே இட் இஸ் கிளியர் பசங்களா ஸோ டூ ஹவர்ஸ் நான் ஒன் அண்ட் ஹாஃப் ஹவர்ல முடிக்கணும்னு நினைச்சேன் முடியல டூ ஹவர்ஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி த்ரீ மினிட்ஸ் ஆயிடுச்சு ஓகே ஐ ஹோப் திஸ் செஷன் வாஸ் யூஸ்ஃபுல் ஓகே யூ கைஸ் ஹவ் ரிவைஸ் ஒன் ஃபுல் டென் மார்க்ஸ்க்கான மூணு சாப்டர் இன்னைக்கு போய் இந்த சாப்டர் ரிவைஸ் பண்ணுங்க ஓகே ப்ளீஸ் டூ ரிவைஸ் எஸ் yeah that's it that's it that's it okay echo not just the, not just the trees ecosystem in podalam shanu ecosystem in podalam okay yes so nariya per konjam bore bore adikira chapter but padichu da aganum exams irukku you have to remember 10 mark varum nama vandu centum kaga yosikkrom so centum kaga yosikkum bodu indha chapter kandipa vidakudadu yes welcome welcome yes do like this uh, live yara like na live like panniyo like pannunga do share it with your friends and please do leave a comment okay so 2.5 uh, hours for 10 marks which is not a joke okay yes thank you thank you pasangla take care bye bye sure 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 kandipa kandipa seekrom portions mudichitona okay we can do this in the microbes in human welfare uh, from reproductive health idella na already video potturken poi adha poi adha poi paarenga so we can save a lot of time and we can do pyqs and uh, this one inno you know, biotechnology panna pore okay biotechnology rendu unit ore vaati one shot la panna pore apra human reproduction sexual reproduction in the moon chapters we will finish as early as possible and we will do pyqs okay yes i am not a biotech no student i am a biotech post graduate yes uh, my subject is msc biotechnology yes okay pasangla take care take care ya yeah, flowering plants kandipa pandren adu pandren okay ninga veru reproductive health aprama microbes in human welfare mattrom textbook la clear ah so textbook la illa already session potturka adu innorati check pannikko Uh, evolution or ikkala yes evolution also i will do because people have confusion with evolution so you know four chapters panana okay four five chapters five chapters sure sure kandipa kandipa take care bye pasangla bye take care